Hello. 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 Come on, son. Hello, everybody. We're a uh, we're a small bunch today. Sadly, unfortunately. Speak for yourself. We're down. <laughs> we're down, Alora. We're down, Asoko. But uh, we're still going to be playing uh, DS. It's Sunday. We made it. Um, dude, I love starting the stream and immediately getting five fucking hotspot follows. That's great, dude. Love that shit. It's um, Sunday. Could be five gifted, though. <clears throat> could be five gifted, though, guys. Five gifters, September. Shit, no. Um, <laughs> welcome to Unchilling, everybody. Like I said, down to Laura, down to Soko, but uh, we'll be all right. We'll make do without them. Try not to miss what them too much. What could go wrong? What could go wrong, exactly. Um... Everybody had a good weekend. Everybody had a good week. Thanks for being here, as always. I'm sick. Uh, Koibe's a little sick. Yeah, dude, you sound... I mean, yesterday you sounded rougher than you do today. Luckily. That's because my throat's better, but my nose is really blocked now. So, <laughs> No Ronies, though, so... No Ronies. I yeah. checked so many times I've had Rona just every day that I've had this. I've been like, do I have the Rona smiley face? Please magic machine go. that tells me uh, before we get going obviously check out the youtube all of our vods of all of our different shows are there we had uh dungeon discourses thursday we had laura and uh ethan on talk a bit about the campaign so far talk a bit about uh some of the you know some of the secret stuff that happened last week among other things uh, it was a good time played a little played a little game of dungeon select trivia and they did pretty well um, oh no. That is a sign of what's to come, because you're all going to be playing Dungeon Select Trivia at one point over the next couple of discourses, so... There we go. <clears throat> I asked seven questions, Laura won with five correct answers, Ethan ha ha had four correct answers, so... I fucked myself. <laughs> Laura's a nerd, got it? I had five True. and I changed one of my answers. Yeah, you did. <laughs> uh, but as it, like, collectively, you guys did, you know, there, there was a correct answer for every question spread, spread around the board, so, you know, that's good. D and D is a cooperative game. Exactly. Um, let me think. Any announcements? Any announcements? I can't really think of any. Uh, when it comes to uh, any D and D stuff, besides the usual, you know, our usual programming. Monday, hopefully, finally bringing back Baldur's Gate. Last couple times yeah, yeah. got uh, cancelled because of a variety of circumstances, but uh, we should be hopping back on that on Monday. So tomorrow. Uh, next Thursday we'll have Dungeon Discourse. Not sure who the, who we're gonna have as guests yet. We'll uh, we'll decide uh, probably after the session today or tomorrow and announce it on the Twitter and all that stuff. Any of you got any announcements before we uh, get going? The audio only version of Dungeon Select should be coming this week. I don't know if I'm gonna do as many as I can in one go. Mm -hmm. Or if I'll start doing them weekly, but then they'll be... Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But it should the first episode should definitely be coming this week. So. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. That's fucking dope. Beautiful. Um, with that said... Suppose... Well, I have an, I have an oh. puzzle announcement. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Go for it. I got a job. Yeah! He did it! Got a job, guys. Right. tomorrow. Doing this. You excited? Would you, you believe nervous? it? I'm so nervous. I've got to be. I've got to be there. Like I've got to be working at ten, and I've mm -hmm. been trying to fix my sleep schedule. And insomnia is murdering my heart and soul and oh, being in its entirety. That's amazing. But it, like, I'm like, I'll wake up a little earlier each day, but I'm not falling asleep any later, uh, any earlier. It's just like lying awake and not being able to sleep and knowing, oh, I have to wake up in five hours. Um, yeah. So that's been good. That sucks. That fucking sucks. But we're working on it. We're working on it. You can't get melatonin over the counter here. No, you can get it on Amazon. Is that legal? Yeah. You can get it from Holland's and Barrett. I've been taking. I've been taking shitty herbal remedies. Fucking like calms. Oh, Bullshit. Well, uh, chamomile tea. Or chamomile. Well, I think a... what Bell said. Valerian root. Yeah. That sounds like a fucking shit. potion ingredient, dude. What the hell? It is. Yeah. It's a hub. God damn. Alright, well good luck with that, Duke. You're gonna fucking kill mm. it, bro. Personal you got that news. shit. <clears throat> I'm back in London, so I have good audio again. Yeah. Oh, look at that beautiful microphone! Awesome. Does it also mean that me and Belle can and finally play video games? Yeah. Hell Next yeah. Week. It means that she doesn't sound like shit London. anymore. Yeah. Hooray! And I got my, my cast tankard. 
Oh, true. Yeah, that's sick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's awesome. Really it's, it's name on it. Like, but I'm not going to focus the camera because I can't be bothered. Dude, dope. I can't wait to have disposable income. I'm going to waste so much money. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Buy so much pointless shit. It's the best part about disposable income. <laughs> right. True. That is true. That is true. And the worst part because you go, where's my income? <laughs> I bought all these things. Where's my money now? Yeah, Mom. money gone. I can't buy more. No more money. All right. So if that is the announcement yeah. out the way, sweet. Thank you so much for the for the raid. Right as we are, we're getting started. Appreciate you, homie. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so last well, we left yeah. off, the party traveled and delved into a Yuanti ziggurat of sorts. Witnessed the tail end of a ritual transforming uh, a humanoid figure into a Yuanti abomination, who then got transported away via some kind of teleport. Um, and now all their leads point towards Sek Tha, a Yuanti settlement slash temple deep in the jungle far north. And they have about a seven day journey ahead of them. They ended up in Southwold, in a tavern, had some rest, uh, some of which, uh, some of them arranged transport, but um, we're going to pick it up there as you all awaken in your, uh, in your rooms. Anything you guys want to do before, um, before y'all get going? Uh, let me still check. Do we maybe mm. need to grab some more rations, or are we all going to be good? How did you get more room? <laughs> Sorry. I thought, I thought it was funny. It was a shitty joke. That's funny. That's funny, that. That's funny, No, guys. I will... I'll, I'll just keep... Keep on keeping on. Okay. Uh, what are we doing for rations? Yeah, do, well, do we have anything that needs, like... Did I find... I feel like I found something that I would have wanted. Um... Bell looked at yeah uh laura said that she wanted Dagon yeah, yeah, yeah. to yeah um i'm gonna go downstairs with the the pink algae and ask mm -hmm. uh the barkeep um i woke up before my friend and she wanted me to ask if you have any use for this hmm let me take a look and she kind of grabs the the vials from you and looks at it what exactly is this? Sorry. <laughs> I dropped dice. As you knock all the coins off the bar. <laughs> uh, That's fine, I'll pick that up later. What is this? I have no idea. It's some kind of pink algae we found in the, hmm. in the jungle. She kind of... It's really Shit. pretty. Sick. Love bear. As she takes a closer look at the vial, and as you're you saying pink algae... Hmm... I personally don't know how to use this, but uh, I, I think I know someone that does. Do um, you have any, any a price in mind? What you would like for it? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, how about... You have two vials, yes? Mm hmm Okay. How about I pay you four gold for both of the files, and then uh, I'll, I'll take them off your hands? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Okay, beautiful. And she hands you four gold and puts the two files away. Hope his fucking face. <laughs> okay. Sure. <clears throat> Um, as you're all, uh, kind of, like, start to gather downstairs, um, Elazrin. That's me. Jax walks up to you. I have instructions. Hold on. Punch you in the face. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking decks you. Um. <laughs> shank, 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 shank. Would you mind if I, um, touch your armor real quick? Um, uh, yes, of course. Um... <clears throat> he takes your armor, kind of like puts puts a hand on you. See him place a little device on on your on your armor or on your on your outfit, and uh, turn. He, he pushes a button and it turns on, uh, which uh, 
gives you a plus one to your AC. Plus one to AC? Yeah. Cool. I'll just customize it and go up plus one. Yeah, there you go. That should make you a little harder to hit. Oh, well. Much appreciated, thank you. I kind of put my like jacket back up because my other arm is underneath. Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> cool. Well, how long does it last? Is it for... Fuck, that's a good question. Um, It just lasts until he until, until replaces it, just... it with something else, essentially. Okay. Yeah, so uh, he gave it to Brooks at some point, uh, and now he just decided to give it to you instead. Fair. I don't know if it's instead. Yes, it is. Is it? Oh, well, fuck me. Fuck you, Jax. Might as well your AC dick it. <laughs> yeah, fuck you up. Thank you very much. No problem. Oh, then. Uh, as you're all gathered downstairs, um, Jolly, the uh, redskin tiefling, walks up to Kess and Daigon. And the little thing we talked about last night? Um, you can go to the stable and collect and just tell him I sent you. Thank you. Don't forget what we agreed on. Absolutely. Very good. Safe See travels. You, you making deals, are you, Kess? Do you really want to know? Um, in light, uh, is it going to negatively affect us? If you're willing oh, to sure share yeah. your personal business, well, then it'd probably be good to know. Please look out. No, it's nothing you need to worry about. Oh, then that's fine then. If it does become a worry, let us know. Mm -hmm. I'd rather not have to watch my back just randomly. If you believe it's in all fine, then I'll take your word for it. Very, tr very trusting. Well, no point in being distrusting now, is there? Got enough paranoia going on with what we're dealing with. Don't need something else at the moment. If, if it's a deal you've made, I'm sure it will be fine. Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> With the sarcasm and the sass. Okay. So it's like he knows traitors. It's like he's God. It's like... <laughs> All right. Anything you guys want to do before you set off? Did we manage to steal a car last night? No, that's you just missed. Uh, someone came over and like said the cart's ready to like Kess, and I was just like, "What fucking trade deal?" <laughs> ah. So someone just said they made a deal and don't don't forget like your right. Oh, whoever. right. Yeah, the mm. yeah. So I've just mm. said cool, whatever. It's fine. That's what you missed. <laughs> right. That's the TLC. Right. Um, I'm going to just fucking throw my shit in the cart. I guess. I mean, I'm carrying around a two-person tent. And like two water skins. I mean, you you have to pick up the carts and the horses at the stable it. first. Oh, yeah. We first we have to fucking haul all that shit down to mm. the fucking stables. I mean, we've been hauling it through the jungle. I'm sure that's fine. It's effort. It's unnecessary. Making sure my every well, my belongings together and I look great as ever, although probably a little stinky because we haven't bathed in a while. Yeah, I'll uh, gather up my belongings and step out into the street. All Is right. Um, so, you um, make your way down to the stables and uh, are greeted by uh, an older human uh, man who looks at you. Here to rent a horse. Uh, Jolly sent us. Right, right, right. Yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've taken the liberty of, of getting the horses ready. They're already uh, attached to the cart. Um, so, w whenever you're ready, uh, it's waiting for you um, right there. Any points? And like in the little, in like a little, little area, there's there's these two horses attached to a pretty sizable cart, big enough to fit all uh, all six of you. Um, ready to go, really. Thank Did you, you say very much. Who, who? Who sent us? The barkeep. Jolly. Jolly. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> uh, allows me to just all of us. Stuff. What? Like sent us? Like all sent all of us? I guess by connection, yeah. A group, right, I think. You lot, all right? Yeah. Half left, I think. Oh, I slept a bit weird. Don't worry. <laughs> do you know anywhere? Uh, uh, excuse me for asking, but do you know anywhere we might be able to get some some jungle remedy? Uh, not over here. You can't. But uh, depending on where you're going, I'd say either Eldilon or New Daramuth, probably. Uh, I think I think we'll cross through New Daramuth on the road, so we'll have to pick some up there. I should shoot. Have you sorted? What's the horse's name? Whatever you want it to be. Well, you don't name them. Nah. That's okay. What? How do you tell them apart? Like, do you just call them like horse one? No, I mean that one's got a black patch of fur on his ass. So that's oh right, but you got to talk to you know. Do I? I'll feed him, take care of him. Really? Don't talk Do to him. Oh, you want me to read my bedtime right. story too, or? Well, you could do. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Oh, I don't think they would understand me, would they? Well, they, you know, they hear like the, the tone of your voice and. Mm. Right. Right. Anything else? Well, that is all. Thank you very, thank you very much. How long do we have it for? Yours. Yeah, we oh. um Yeah, it's basically us we can leave it at Dharma. Right. I knew that. Right, sure you did. Right, well uh, enjoy. Um the yours now, so name and whatever you want if that makes you makes you sleep better at night. And uh, pleasure doing business. Pleasure. Uh, I will get all my stuff, chuck it in the car, and just sit in the car straight away. Just dump myself down. All right. Just kind of like... I assume someone does know how to ride horses, right? Um, I. I mean, assume the one who was horses? upset they weren't named. Well, as in, you know. You say, why would you ride horses when they're on the front, front of a car? No, you know what I mean. You know. Um, yes, I'm great with animals in general. It's my job. Well, if you know how to make the car go forward and the horse is not scared, that's all I can ask. Be grand. We we'll, have two we'll horses. We'll leave you out front. It'll yeah. be grand. Two horse. Guess. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't we move away from the car? We've What's got. That? We just got two horses in a cart. Mm -hmm. No questions asked. No. How? Do you really need to know? Well, I'm, I feel like it's probably something we would we should share. Uh, that's quite a. I mean, that's a lot of money worth of livestock. If a horse is livestock, probably not animals. I mean, they're alive. Well, in these times, yeah, we probably eat horses, eh? Our livestock and a cart. Mm. It's a pretty. So, is it a nice cart? It's a pretty nice cart. I think. It's not rickety, I'll tell you that much. It doesn't have spins on the floors. I hope. Got great suspension. Brake discs are well cleaned. It's even topped up the headlight fluid. Yeah. Mate, two, two horsepower. <laughs> two horsepower? <laughs> what? I'm just wondering what offer. this... I mean, what did it all cost, really? Nothing. Right, that's the concerning part. Nothing's free. Well, obviously. <laughs> so... <laughs> Why don't we Nothing maybe free, just yeah. get set off? That was supposed to go well. It was made... I mean, we didn't steal it, so... I'm sure... I always would have preferred if we had. I'm a little bit more... Um, this, this seems clandestine, to say the least. <laughs> No, I mean, I'm... I did make the suggestion that we could steal one, but uh, I was on board. What do we call Dragon the horses? Wasn't necessarily the plan. Hmm? What, what do, do we call the horses? horses? I don't know. Do what kind of horse? What do they look like? 
Um, Horse. These horses would be... Uh, I have it written down, actually. Hold on. Let me quickly Ooh. open the document. The donkeys. These are... Frisians. There they are. Aren't they the enemy? Sure. One of them uh, is like completely, Ooh. almost completely uh, black, mm. besides some like white spots, kind of like spread about, and the other one <clears throat> is more is more of a dark brown with uh, some some very black patches of fur uh, on its rear end. Black beauty. <gasps> oh, I mean, I guess I just assume since you. Acquired them, they would be yours. You could name them. No, this is the first time I've seen them. Well, right. But. So I don't know. But, right. So. I mean, surely Midnight has got to be one of their names. No, I mean, that's terrible. That's you so could cliche. ask them. What's the point? If one I could ask them, they use the whole spell slot, and I don't you think it would be fun. You have one cliched name and then one that isn't cliched, and people get confused. But why is this well, I like, cliched? I like, you know. I like Pepper for the one that's sort of, you know, black and spot. I like that. Oh, and you had to go at me for cliché name. Okay. <laughs> you said one could have a cliché name. Yeah, that's true. Pepper, Pepper is quite a good name. All right, and the brown one, Steve. All right, done. Steve. <laughs> I sure hope Steve isn't isn't a female. <laughs> Maybe Steve. Is Steve a female DM? These are two male horses. Steve. You didn't have to lift up the tail to find that out. <laughs> are you sure you know about? Just horses? glance at the knees. Yeah. I mean, oh <laughs> uh, no! I, you know, I kind of, I, honestly, I kind of hate Steve. Um, well, it's too late, Steve and Pepper. So. No, it's not too late. Yeah, it, it's. I mean, I've I'm grown an emotional attachment to Steve now, so it's Steve and Pepper. <laughs> Just don't get emotional attachment too to emotionally feet. attached. Don't <laughs> shut up, right? <laughs> Pepper and. Salt? Salt? No, because it's not white, is it? I just, it look at, I just look at it. That'd be pretty funny. Pe pepper. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, Great minds. I mean, and turmeric. Sugar is brown. Paprika. Pepper and sugar. Double eat. Sugar seems a bit. It's a. It's a male horse, you know. I don't want to. I don't want to. You no, 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 no. Before you cut me off, I don't want to speak to it later. And he's like, "Oh, you really fucking call me sugar, cunt." <laughs> More oh, in the sense of you were just so silent bit. for a second that I was worried that you'd had some sort of moment. We'll think about it, and I will. Um, I will get somehow Craziest. acquainted with Pepper and. Make an animal handling check. Oh, don't fuck this. We, get I mean, we win game. these. We win these. I have expertise. 22. Yeah, nice. I mean, both the horses kind of like, first like look at you and then kind of both put their heads down and allow you to kind of give them, give them a little, little screech and seem comfortable enough around you. I need to see a Frisian horse so I can kind of come up with it. All of these are jet black, though. Yeah, I just, want, black to, beauty, I just yeah. want you to know. Did I ask? Frisian horse, they are... No. Did anyone ask? No. Exactly. It's almost Shut like the it's fuck a up fantasy and take world. It. <sighs> right. You said it was brown with a black ass? Some black patches on its rear end, and the other one is mainly black with some lighter brown. Or a little bit some white. Sorry. Uh... Spots. Caramel. Sure. Don't you make that with sugar? Yeah, yeah but like, caramel is no, like it's, more it's sugar, but glossy. With extra caramel is like glossy. Sugar is like not. I knew a woman called Caramel once. Right. I'm sure you've known a woman named every name. Don't surprise me. <laughs> oh yeah, grass. I remember her. I'm not grass. Sure, if that's a compliment or an insult from you. Little both. Take it as you will. 
I'm a little upset. Oh, I'm very sorry. I'm sure you, we can mull it over. We've got a long journey ahead. <laughs> dude, the sass coming off fucking Elantrum today, dude. Holy fuck. He's got a bit of a cold. He's in a bad mood. <laughs> he's not giddy. This is what no, happens he, like... when he's sick. I'm gonna get on whichever side of the car a Lazarin isn't. Yeah, I'm like probably top right. <laughs> what kind of what kind of cart is this? I guess it's like it's, it's just, just like, wooden like boop, boop, with a little shelf to sit on and yeah, pretty much yeah. drive the horses. All right, yeah. I'll hop up on the <laughs> on the on the seat. Okay. Get ready to drive them out of town. All right. Hey. The stables are located at uh, at one of the city gates, so you can just guide them out and follow the road. Um, North-ish. And as you travel, this is uh, technically your second day of travel towards uh, Sektha. You're on the road towards New Daramuth. The road surrounded by, by some foliage and some woods, but not quite uh, jungle yet. Um, as you all kind of travel, the morning goes by. Then... Davian. Everyone else, really, because you're not really secluded. And everyone else, uh, just roll me a perception check, please. Oh, I win these. I don't win these. Uh, natural 20. Oh, uh, shit. For 19 plus, uh, so 25. 24. Well, I won that 20 still time. Okay. <laughs> 24. 7. 7. Everyone but Brooks, including, like, including the horses. <laughs> You start to smell a the scent of burning flesh. And as you kind of look around, scanning the horizon, um, Davian, Kess, and uh, Elazrin, you see through some trees fire. Bloody Thick Davian. smoke plumes kind of rising up to the sky. I'll, uh, Whoa! It smells like a funeral pyre. I'll look at, I'll look at Devin, but just I'm like, don't suppose it's them again, do you? Oh, friendly neighborhood arsonists. Yes. That was my thought. One thing to, how far away does it look like it is from? Does it look like it's literally just like? Um, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to tell because uh, it is. You, you're gonna have to move through a, a, a small, like, like wood. Type uh, type deal, right. but uh, it's not too far away. You can you can you can see some of the flames, kind of like the 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 and and like the flickers of the flames, kind of are visible through the through the tree line. Does there be we... so water nearby or make a perception check? How long have we been traveling Perhaps. at this point? About half a day. With the cart. Seven. I'm absolutely asleep at this point. Seven. No, you don't see any sources of water nearby. Well, I'm sure we can leave uh, off Brooks here for a second. Also, you have a little quick look. Yeah, mate. Well, probably should wake him up. Yeah, Brooks. Huh? There's a fire. It's through the trees. We're gonna not probably... in that. That's not in the way then. No, it's not in the way, but there's a big. F it seems pretty exceptional. And they think the arsonists are pretty friendly. No, no. quite the opposite. We think it's a cultist of arsonists. We no, doubt. I was being, being facetious. Oh. So this is something you two have a personal vested interest in, and not just some sort of let's be heroes go throw a ball of water on a fire and pretend. Well, we, we got paid a fair bit last time. Do we really That's have true. time? Mm, that's true. Does it look like the far... Where it looks like it is, does it look like it is... Could spread to almost be like a wildfire? Or... Uh, hard to tell. It's hard to tell from where you are. Okay. I mean, is, it, is it just a fire? Is there a building? Or is it like... Let's see, right? Again, hard to tell because you're kind of looking at it through a tree line. All right, yeah, fuck. Let's um, just at least make sure it's not gonna set fire to the whole fucking forest. First. I mean, even if it's going to, we can't really stop it. But just True. wait here, and I'll I'll hop down off the cart and make a little beeline to the trees. Okay. Once you kind of cross the tree line, Davian, you see a small village of tents and huts completely ablaze. Right. 
that scent of okay. burning flesh makes starts to make a lot of sense when you look at just nothing but charred corpses surrounding the some of the huts and tents. Any living beings around around the outskirts, like watching, anything like that? Perception check. Oh, 23. You look around, uh, and you don't see anyone or anything nearby. Thank you. Which, um, judging by the fact that the entire town is on fire and the state of some of the corpses that you see, this fire was set a little while ago. Okay, I'll head back to the cart. Okay. Well, whether it's going to spread or not, I don't know. If it's going to, we can't stop it. It seems like... I don't know, a nomad village or something, the whole thing's ablaze. And doesn't seem to be anyone left. Bugger. I'll hold back up. Anything of value's gone. Roughly, where on the map are we right now? Or can I at least guess about where we are? Um you are about You see that like one lone like that one like little tree like in the elbow of this like part yeah. of the jungle like about yeah. there about to the yeah, right of that okay. I'll, I'll like do oh on the map i've got i'll make a slight mark on there okay it's just like a little point what do i okay well i mean if there's no help by that judgment are we closer to new Darmouth than we are to like the time we just left probably because the cell phone does assume. You're still you're still close to South Wall than you are to New Dharma. Well, I mean, there's not, there's not really any use going back, but if we no. see anyone on the well, if anyone escaped, we'd probably see them on the road. That's true. In theory, yes. Keep our eyes peeled, I suppose. But yeah, I mean, I doubt it would be hard to sp spot them. Hmm. Their best chances, though, would probably be the other way, and we didn't come past anyone and I will uh, give the horses a little spur on all right I'm gonna keep an eye out for anyone at all okay make a perception check 17 17 as you're kind of uh, going as you kind of round the bend uh you spot a signpost kind of put in the ground, and as you kind of ride past it, that signpost uh, just depicts a red dragon. As in, like, it's a signpost that's just been, like, recently put there? It's not, like, it doesn't actually have signs on it? It's just a fucking... No, it's just a post that someone put there with a red dragon on it. Well, I suppose that all adds up. How? Well, with the dragon worshipping cultists that burned down a farmhouse we uh, ran across. It's I mean, like their calling card, as it were. The yeah. gods, they, they worship the fact that the dragons are going to return and scorch this world again like they did previously. Why would you want that? Because people are insane and they believe in the crazy words of a madman. Who they follow. That's why. Welcome to cult. But yeah, it seems like it, some, some, like, well, madman. Um, from I don't even remember the name of the place. <laughs> uh, distant archipelago to the south of the, mm. the kingdoms. I think. Uh, Planarian. settled down here and. And it's just conjure up some sort of following of of people who who believe his teachings, as it were, that the 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 dragons are coming back and everything must be burned. Yeah, a... so that the dragons don't kill them. Yeah, his name's Jeridan. Um, where he's from, it's a place that's the the planners sort of uh, coalesce, as it were, uh, gaps towards the plains. Uh, he went kind of crazy from there, got a lot of his power from them, and believes that he can use them in some way, but most people think he's mad, and, you know, he's been raving about it for years, apparently. 
don't know why I didn't do anything until now, but... I mean, you can't put someone away for being mad, right? There's places. <laughs> okay. You... Oh, it... Are it we talking cleric? legally or morally? Oh, yeah, legally you can't put them anywhere, but you can put them in the hospitals mm. to help That's... them get better. There's, there's a law that you can't imprison insane people just because they're insane. Here? Oh, it's not imprisonment. It's they hospitalize them to try and treat them better. How do you I don't know, read prayers to them from some different God's book? I don't know. Basically, yeah. I think that's what most of them do. Try and find yeah. any sort of cure that they can. The, the blood of Aros's phallus or something? No, more like... In, uh... More like, does this spell work? No. Does this spell work? No. Do we need an item? You know, trying to identify any causes. I think... An item? That's a weird way Sure... To... Surely the number one solution would just be don't give them access to any matches. Oh, yes. no, but I don't think he was a serial arsonist before he managed to sort of gather up yes. a little cult of and then at that part, I'll kind oh, of like, So they just spontaneously oh. decided that they liked him, so they were going to burn shit? I kind yeah, of like... I think that is kind of what happened, yeah. As he mentions, like, don't give them matches, I kind of like have a sacred flame ready. Yes, because you need matches to create fire. Oh, I was about to say that. Yeah, that's true. They did seem the conjuring casting spell slinging types, but I mean, it is, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cult. I mean, it is what it is. You've got one guy that has some sort of mad idea and a bunch of people who believe in. So I guess they did spontaneously decide to start burning things because they liked them. I mean, that's sort of how it goes. So they go, the impressionable, get dragged in, and next thing you know, next they're thing in you a know, church. I don't think it's quite that much. <clears throat> I don't think the churches would live. They'd keep on burning them down. I'm sure their church would have like a wicked bonfire or something. Yeah, true. <laughs> and no roof. <laughs> Courtyard. I suppose if it rained, you'd want some sort of... But you wouldn't want to, you know, breathe all the smoke. Um, well, we can just... they toast marshmallows? Yeah, we were still going. Okay. We're going at this point. Yeah, we are. We can go crazy. Yeah, riding and, and talking. Yeah. Do cultists eat s'mores? Do they roast them as like yeah, right that town's book. burning? You've never had a s'more. No. Two biscuits, marshmallow, chocolate. That's marshmallow. Have you, not... Have you like never gone camping? Just candy. It's just sweet. It's like a like soft, pillowy, sugar. sugary. Yes. They make it with like ground up horses. Not, not you guys though. How, who, who figured that out? That you made it with horse. You know, cults. <laughs> <laughs> no, like oh, no, no. Things, I, I, it's, like I, most, think it's, I think it's cows, right? I think, like most things, it was oh, accidentally. Found oh, it, yeah. not even that. Accidentally found making something else, and they went, "Oh, I've made this thing." I mean, most I'll put sugar some, it. It'll uh, be a nice treat. Aren't there some like druidic things about? Yes. If you hunt an animal, you have to make use of everything for, and apparently some making use of that is to make delicious campfire treats. I've lived like that, and I'll Can't tell you what. I believe the druids never gave us marshmallows. There's not much you can do. With... <laughs> it's a newfound well, thing, I think. You know, you, 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 you the bones that you can't make into a stew, you used to make something that, like a, I don't know, like a sewing needle or some shit. You know, the, you use the hide to make clothes and you make marshmallows out of their hooves or whatever. Hey, Dutch. Hello. I have a question. Mm -hmm. How long has it been in Material Plane years since the last Festival of Many Moons? Like, not the one that was most recent, but the one before that. Fuck me. What the fuck? Um... Since, the since the advent of the marshmallow, how long, how many days has it Wait, been? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> If I convert to religion, I it's have to be quickly open up your fucking sheets to man. fact check that real quick, bro. Hold on. I don't know. If I didn't write any dates. I don't think I might have done. Hold, hold, hold. Hey, hold. DM, this arbitrary thing from my backstory. <laughs> Pick a date when it happened. Literally. Um, hold on. Give me a sec. But you can't pick wrong with no prior knowledge because you'll break everything. 
Just keep going. I'll get back to you on that one. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, um, what do we need to fucking buy in New Darmouth? Jungle remedy. New origins is possible. A couple of supplies of that because what's days? Is it day, got, right? I don't know about you guys. I've got like two weeks worth of rations. No, oh, I'm good for rations as well. I rations are fine. Loads of rations. We all have two water skins now, but we could possibly do with more. We used to, I mean, yeah. We're gonna need at least two in a day. It's a stay. Because 100%. you can you can make clean water for us, right? But uh, I mean, I can even. I think I can even create water if okay, need be, rather than purifying it. If we if yeah. we have a rough night and you don't rest, then. When we shit out of luck, so I would like to be able to carry two days worth of water on us. Yeah, that's fair enough. Heavy though. Well, God. I'll fucking carry it. I'll be fine. I only have one water skin. We did you not no. sell one? No. You didn't okay. carry a water skin around. No. I'm. I'm the not fuck used have you been to... drinking? You know those You're people who forget to... to drink all the time, do they? And they forget. Well, well, we we all work? got given one each by Kron, right? Before yeah. so she now has yeah. one. Yeah. So one. She, yeah. 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 Five all this time before. Uh, uh, the material the plane years spell. Yeah. Not counting the last one, obviously. Yeah. Uh, would have been about thirty years ago. Okay. Jesus. Thank you. Can't wait to find out why. Mm -hmm. That's how long ago she had marshmallows. <laughs> so we got, we are going to need a few more water skins, that's for sure. I suppose. Um, we've got tents enough for all of us. We've got rations enough for all of us. I could do with maybe a few more arrows. I don't know if they, I don't know if you can get better arrows than the arrows I have. That probably cost a quite a bit. I mean, you can definitely get arrows that are uh, forged. Whether the arrowheads themselves are forged magically or enchanted in some way, there's other varieties of materials that you can use. But it really depends. Do you want quieter arrows? Do you want arrows that are more likely to fly true? Do you want arrows that'll hurt a fucking shit ton more? Do you want arrows that are gonna do more damage if someone has to remove them? I once saw someone use an arrow that exploded after a set amount of time after you'd fired it. It was really cool. Sounds like magic, which is outside of my wheelhouse, but... Doesn't sound like my kind of thing. No. Wouldn't get much use out of an arrow that exploded. Oh, well, at least more than once. Yeah. Honey, I brought uh, half be a deer home one. for dinner. Hmm? Honey, I brought half a deer home for dinner. Use an arrow that exploded. You've only got the back end. Well, at least part of it would be cooked already. That middle, that middle strip of about an inch where it wasn't completely burned away, but it wasn't still raw. Seems really inefficient, but also so sort of. I mean, even I just like to recycle. Arrow. If I could get arrows that just you know they they wound a bit more, but I could you know maybe get five, and then as long as I'm frugal, I would be able to keep keep using. Mm. Um, it's worth I mean, a look, I suppose. It's outside of my technical ability, but. There are people that do it. The most I can do is make holy water. I can't even make holy oil yet. Holy oil. What's what's the difference? A oh, one's water, one's oil. Yeah, yeah, but what's the the? Why would you need a water and an oil? Oh, if I was sat back there, I'd smack your head in. Because well, an oil, if you pour water, an oil can be used to coat. Dries. An oil, yeah, an oil can be used to coat a weaponry to, you know, oh. enhance its ability. Whereas a water is used more in a ceremony. You know, because it goes away after a little bit, whereas an oil, if you put down something... like a bit like young child, it's like... Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah, Why? I mean, she really is. It's so many Every time things. someone says something... <laughs> Why? What? And why does it do that? I mean, why do you, you have a headache? Me to... I forgot to drink. <laughs> I mean... I can, get, I, can start, I can start lecturing you on the doctrine <laughs> of religions if you really want to, but I think you might fall asleep. Okay, I have a question for you, though. Oh, here we go. <laughs> is there something innately more holy about, say, Joaquin's holy oil versus, um, like, 
how different I wouldn't, it is. I wouldn't know. I think it probably depends on how devout one is and their connection to the god rather than the uh, god themselves. A minor god is probably more likely to give a boon to someone who's like a follower. What to... happens if... Then if more... so, so, if my understanding of holy water from common theater is correct, yes. you throw it on something evil like a demon and... Or use it to bless someone if you really want to, to make them feel better. Okay, so what happens if you have holy oil that's been blessed by a cleric of an evil god? Unholy oil. <laughs> oh, just oil. You it's mean if it was almost like a desecrated holy oil. holy oil rather than a consecrated one? Yeah, would that would it still be holy oil? I mean, technically, it's the belief of a... I mean, holy doesn't mean good. Holy just means it's religious in nature. Doesn't mean it's inherently a good thing. It'll still be a <laughs> assumed celestial being that's blessing it. So I assume it'd still be a holy oil. I don't know how it'd work the same. You'd have to ask an evil deity that. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those. You're not oh, an evil deity. I never would have guessed. I want to insight yeah. check that. Go ahead. <laughs> is he in no fact an check. evil deity? Time to roll deception? No, because no, the worst part is if she rolls super low, she might believe that you are in fact. <laughs> An evil deity. Nope. Yeah, well, I mean, I have a high, a high insight, so eighteen. Yeah, let me just. Hang on. <laughs> Could still be in that one. True. That's true. In my twenty-three persuasion, that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not clear. Clearly, I'm just a dude. Okay, cool. I'm not. He's I'm just a man. Checking. As far as you're aware, you as believe far as that I'm I. Aware. <laughs> You were just a man. I am just a holy cleric, man. Nothing evil here. <laughs> He's a holy cleric. Uh, y'all give me... Y'all give, <laughs> give me... What do you expect this session would be, Dutch? What did you expect? Do you know what? I'm enjoying this. With so. that said, as you all um, travel towards the end of the afternoon, sun is uh, starting to set. Horses definitely start showing some signs of needing a break. Um... You're about halfway on the way to New Dharmouth. Another day of travel like this, and you'll you'll probably be at the city gates by by sunset. Same sort of arrangement as last time with the uh, keeping watches. Mm -hmm. We only have slept since then. I'll um, I'll take the <laughs> what? I'll take the middle watch. In the car. Oh yeah, that's true. A little nap. I mean, uh, the no, first no, one, I was then. awake the entire time. Oh, do you snore when you're awake, do you? I was resting my <laughs> eyes. Mm. Um, oh, yes, yes. Yes, right. I do that quite often. <laughs> Troll. Uh... I can take that middle watch and whoever's after me. I can. In that darkest night. <sighs> Give them at least an hour of sight. Oh, it's... Uh, right. I really miss having some sort of elf in this party, okay? That... What do you mean? I'm a half-elf. Yeah, but the, you know, the elves <laughs> yeah. that can sleep four, four hours, hours, meditate yeah. for four hours, and then take the rest of watch, okay? Yeah. Now we actually have to think about this shit. Yes, you do. <laughs> Whatever. I'll put a campfire together. Okay. And set up the two-person tent that I have. I will let Jack set up the two-person tent. And Gavin's already saying that while. <laughs> um. right, so you build yourselves a little campsite uh, off the road uh, assuming you, you you put the horses somewhere out of sight as well um, yeah I was just going to say I want to have a little look for a, a river of some kind uh, nearby like a, 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 a stream make a survival like check dude fuck it maybe oh, a lake underrated check 80 miles nine. from Santa Fe 9 you, mm. dude, Ethan, Four you gotta stop, five. dude. That's like five bad jokes in the course of the first hour. You, you, you <laughs> fucking put the brakes on, bud. A record, um, even for you. Prepare. You don't not not very big bodies of water nearby, but you do find a small stream. That's not much, but. I mean, I just want to lead them to anything that they might be able to drink from that will save us using water skins at all. Okay. Um, and I'll just kind of hang around with them until they're kind of done and then lead them back to the camp and I'll 
I mean, uh, tie them to a tree. Okay. As close to the camp as possible so that we can keep an eye on them while we're on watch. Yeah, sure. Okay. The horses, now after a day of traveling with you, have, have gotten accustomed to you a little bit and, and seem to um, be okay with it. Oh, you said it's like, it's just like grassland, right? And sort of little patches of forest and stuff. Yeah. So there's grass for them on the ground for them to just kind of munch on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. What, what, what's the watch order then? I assume one of Kess or Dagon going first. Uh, I'll, I'll go first. I'll take second. You take third. Brooks fourth. Or Brooks or Jack's fourth. I think we would be wise to have Diagon watch at some point just because mm -hmm. Diagon can see in the dark better than. Diagon can go after. Elazarin. Yes. No, because that would leave Diagon on last watch, which... No. No, Kess, I'm going Elijah in the... Elijah and Diagon. Diagon on third watch. Okay. Well, do we want someone, preferably after me, who doesn't, who can't see in the dark? Oh, so right. Give yeah, so Kess, Diagon, Elijah, and then you can give someone dark yeah. vision. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go We'll go Kess, Diagon, Elijah, and Brooks, and then myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only need Do four need watches four? unless you're planning to take a watch with me. <laughs> yeah, I was two, four, six. I take it they don't do many math classes in the in the forests, jungles, wherever you like to. I'm expecting to do ten to counteract the first two. I don't know what a marshmallow is. But then Brooks has only slept for six hours. Yeah, you do need to do ten. So then Brooks. When Brooks yeah. is done, he sleeps for the two hours while mm. I keep watch. And I mm. just stay up from that point. Yeah. Right. So we do all of our long rests, are, that's ten hours rather than eight. <laughs> Pretty sure that for a, for a, a good night's sleep, you, you have to be resting for eight hours, but you can do light activities taking watch for two hours. So we only need four watches because we only need to bed down as a group for eight hours so watch counts as resting is that what you're telling yes me? uh and right. a long rest it's a, a extended downtime eight hours uh during which character sleeps or performs light activity for uh talking reading eating standing watch for no more than two hours okay okay then there we do only need four so first watch in that case, i get more sleep than anyone it's the same no. as last campaign duke no, because last campaign we had an elf, so it was all. So we fucking still took weird four anyway. hour watch. It was just someone took. T we had two watches and then four hours yeah, where the elf we was had, awake. Yeah, right. We had two watches and then four hours where the elf was awake. So the people Either who way, took everyone the would first get. No. No. If you took first watch, no. you would get six hours. You're well, just an idiot. Whatever. I'm gonna <laughs> eat some chicken. So. <laughs> Take off my chicken. <laughs> all right. So first watch, Kess. Yes. Perception check, right? Yes. Ooh, nice. Uh, 21. I would like everyone else to deafen for a quick second. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> What's the deafen button? Kess. Yes. You sit on a tree stump, or like a log, kind of keeping watch. And you suddenly you hear this, this playful... <laughs> And as you turn around, you see <clears throat> an individual, a shape, a figure in this this green cloak. I don't know who this is. <laughs> for long, pointy eyebrows. Seems I found my newest plaything. Kesslin, right? Yes. You Kess is fine. Going to invite me to sit with you by the fire? Join my fire as much as you want. And she kind of very nimbly and almost floaty wanders mm -hmm. over and sits down next to you. This this tall, feminine, green cloak wearing arch fay, the long eyebrows, 
all ha all kinds of rings on her fingers. I decided I'd pop by for a little visit. It's not often I uh, get myself some new friends. Right? Me, suddenly. Dagen is a little hesitant. I noticed. Yeah. All in due time. You strike me as... interesting. With your... heritage. You know who I am, right? Of course. I also know. Mm-hmm. I wanted to pop by just out of curiosity your people your clan tribe what would you clan. What, what would you clan yeah aren't typically well here yeah, which leads me to believe away. Someone has been a tricksy little fox. Hmm? Yeah. Good. Reminds me of myself. What are your plans? Right now? Just... Do you intend on going back, or...? I think I'll go back. I have a lot of new stories that we can tell gets a bit boring if you know all the ending to your stories. True. True. I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. What made you join my little group of devoted? Well, I've heard about you from home. Mm-hmm. So I was familiar in that respect, but it sounded like a good opportunity for some fun. <laughs> My child. Something about you is different than the rest. One is so serious nowadays, and you... There's a spark of joy in you. Say we... Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. You have potential. Hmm? But... You lack... The... Tools... To really... Find your true potential. You've met the tiefling back in Southwold, right? Yes. I just want to stress that it is important to me, personally, that you do her little request. And when you do, obviously your friends, they can help. You need to know basis, but you know, don't, shh, don't spill the beans completely, but you feel like you need to bring them in on a little bit of the information? have my blessing. What's really important to me, though, is your friend, Daigon. Yeah. Do you think that with time she'll fully commit? I think she's mostly uncomfortable because of how she's been treated by law. 
I understand. Enforcement. But I think with time she might become more comfortable with it. Okay. Good. Right. Just wanted to have a little chat. It's quite, quite boring. I get bored a lot. And, um... I remember. You seem fun. And useful. So I figured... Pay you a little visit. Don't tell... You know. His excellence, though. He'll get... He gets a bit possessive sometimes. Mm. Sometimes he thinks he's in charge when in reality hmm, he's not. I let him believe it though because he gets things done when he thinks he's in charge. So, but until okay. it no longer becomes useful, mm, not like that per se. He'll always have a use. It's just. With this new continent, a lot of, you know, you know what we do. Important, dangerous items getting into the wrong hands. This new continent just amplifies that. There's so many strange, magical things that nobody knows or has seen before. And then suddenly... Poor old Bobby from two villages villages over gets his hands on some primordial staff and blows himself up. We don't want that. So I understand that your friend has her hesitance, given as this order used to be. Nothing more than really good thieves, but I think everything ever since I took over, we're doing good. We're saving people from themselves without even knowing they need saving. Am I making sense to you? Absolutely. Okay, good. This um this request that, that Jolly has for you involves one such item and I think you and your friend are the right people for this job. You have time, no need to rush. I understand you're on this this important mission and I get that, but um I just wanted to stress that it, it would mean a lot to me. And put you in my good books. If you handle this this request um as soon as you're able to. Of course. Okay. How before I before you leave? Mm -hmm. How how can I honor you like I do Lara and Sehamin? Well, I like practical jokes. I like um. I would say. Keep doing what you're doing. Be inquisitive. Ask questions. Especially when it annoys people. Which it does. Trust me. You're doing alright. Well, until next time then. See you next time. And she gets up and as you see her walk away, her cloak kind of... Um... Kind of like catches the wind and starts flapping up and down, and then you blink, and suddenly there's nothing there. All right. Yeah. Fucking hell. You do. <clears throat> All right. So that's your watch done. Who had yep. the watch after Kess? Uh. Was Are we Daniel? still alive? Yeah. <laughs> The last one. I think it may have been Dagon. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then yeah. I'll be third and then Okay. Oh, yeah, it's Dagon then I'll last run. Okay, well we'll just we'll just say that you wake Dagon up and Dagon's watch goes by mm -hmm. pretty pretty smoothly, nothing much, and then Dagon wakes up a last run. Yeah. Alright. Uh, well, like, when let's... she gets back from her watch is when I'll take my rest. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough, sure. Okay, the Lazarin. 
Yo. Perception check, please. Seven. Seven? Yep. You don't see much. You don't hear much. You kind of just look at the horses. You hear, you hear the occasional <laughs> as the horses kind of uh, shuffle about. Um, your watch, surprisingly quiet as well. Uh, you would expect there to be maybe some travel, the nearby roads or anything, but yeah. nothing. Quiet. Okay. And then the person I wake up isn't fucking here! True. Why are you waking up? I was supposed to wake up Davian. Was it? Do we agree it was you, Rex? Fine. Fuck you. Right. Well, I, if, I if, if I get if Brooks gets woken up, he'll take a watch with Davian, but he's not gonna go out of his way to do it. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna wake up Davian and fucking give him the 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 eyes, give right. him the give him the three hundred feet, but. He's not walking it. Again. Yeah, where the fuck did Duke go? Oh, there he is. There he is. Fuck. Sorry, guys, I had to take my plate downstairs. <laughs> fuck you, no. There he is. Yeah, it's your it. watch, Duke. Make a perception check. And you've got the eyes. Nine. Hmm. Hmm. As the sun is already slowly starting to starting to rise, uh, you kind of say good morning to the horses. Kind of walk around, have a little stretch, lube up before you can crunch. Uh, you don't really see or hear much. Good. And with that, your watch goes by. Everyone else starts waking up. And it is now the next day. The 19th of Umes, to be exact. What is it you, uh, you all like would like to do? Uh, Wait, didn't we decide I wasn't going to take a watch in the end? Because Brooks only needed six hours sleep. Uh, Lazarin uh, woke you up. He did. Okay. I, I can't remember. I'm going to be honest with you. I, cool. I, I, I like, I half blanked out at the end of that conversation. I was like, I can't remember what was decided. It's like, fuck it, Devin's a safe bet. All right. <clears throat> I'm... Well, with a stretch and a fart and a cough. <laughs> um, I will get the horses back to the wagon. Okay. Do anything. Yeah. Anyone else doing something before the uh, the travel yep. continues? Tell me I'll eat some ration. There's a small stream. Rations. There's a small stream not far from here. If uh, you need to fill your water skins. Yeah, and obviously I'll uh, I'll uh, ritual cast to purify yeah. water. Mm. While they're getting everything ready, I'll just sit and like whisper into the vessel. Just. Caption blew up on everything that happened last night. That's not weird at all. <laughs> I think she might have lost it, but we'll leave her to it. I mean, you, is this a secret or is this just you just? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah she's, she's okay. whispering really quietly. In in your tent or whatever. No. Nah, or is she just out in the open, like? She's, she'll be outside while the tents are getting taken down and stuff. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Fucking pack the tents into the thing. Throw. Dirt over the fire, whatever else. Righty. We fill water skins, get them purified by a Lazarin, because that's pretty poggers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'll just, yeah, I'll sit up on the, um, on the seat of the cart and wait for everyone else to get ready. All right. I'll be in the back. Where was last time? Mm -hmm. Hope you all slept well last night. Wasn't oh, yeah. expecting to be taking a watch. Had a great bad. sleep. Solid yeah, eight sorry. hours. Sorry, all the way through. It was lovely. And a solid four hours or something in the car. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know what you're talking about. You weren't there. I was resting my eyes. I was there. I was driving the cart. So how could you see in the cart? You can look backwards, you know. Because when we came to a stop, I had to fucking wake you up. No, I just wasn't paying attention. That's all. Right. Um, no, Mom, I didn't sleep in the car. I promise. I was awake. <laughs> I was awake the whole time. I'm used to... Well, I'm used to, you know, short nights and long days. Unlike some of us. I'll look at Cass. <laughs> what? I don't understand what you're implying. Short days and long nights, I think. 
that you need to get used to short nights and long days. Hard work. I think he's implying that you're a bit of a bit of a princess. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Not Listen, we're going to be work. Tr trudging into the heart of a sort of uncharted jungle to a temple of some sort of unknown snake people. Should probably just, you know, get into the habit of, you know, being focused and, and Eliza, when you look so checked out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm... He's busy saying his prayers. No, I'm mm. listening intently to you talking yes all right all right are we, is everyone in are we ready to go I thought yes. we were good. let's go cabman all right clippity clop clippity clop clippity clop as you uh continue your travel With a few Pepper hours in, and to be named later is that the name is it to be named we reckon the caramel. Horse. Horse. Oh, caramel. do you reckon the davian has remembered to Bring horse feed, or I they ate myself. grass <laughs> and drank from the stream. Oh, so the poison's a fuck. Okay, so so we we purified our our water, but not theirs. Good to know. Good to know. The physiology of a horse is far less temperamental than that of you, my dear companions. Okay. Very well. As you travel another few more hours, you suddenly start seeing something, you, Davi, in, in particular, because you're the one actually, like, looking ahead. Mm. You see on the road a large bear laying oh. down, and as you get closer, you kind of hear these, 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 these very um, exhausted moans. And as you get even closer, you can see the bear has kind of one of its uh, large paws on top of a humanoid figure. Around the bear and this humanoid figure, you see three, uh, three people just coloring the road with their own entrails. And the bear Ooh. just lying down, breathing heavily, paw on top of a man. How big is the bear? Uh, considered large. Oh, that's big. Yeah. Um, that's bigger than a bear. That is bigger than a bear, yeah. So... I wanna... Can I minor illusion, like, close to where the bear is, uh, the sound of, like, a snake? All it does is just... Mm, doesn't move, but, like, the, yeah. the, the paw on top of the man kind of shifts a little bit as you um uh, make a perception check actually uh davian since you're the one actually like actively looking at it all because you're traveling towards it nine nine mm. i need to use john on this <laughs> unfortunate okay no good to know eventually uh, unless you stop the cart i mean i would stop the cart stop yeah the cart. okay yeah uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, this is what you see right now. You see a, a Does the bear look bear. wounded? Make a perception check. <laughs> Natural one. Oh my god. You're not sure. <laughs> Can I see any, like, insignias on the perceptions of the people it attacked? Make a perception check. Okay. I win those. I win 17. All you really see is that they seem to be wearing just like your run-of-the-mill leather armor. Okay. Nothing really... How close are we to them? Uh, that's a good question. That's a question for Davian because he stopped the cart. I don't know how far away from this all he would stop Duke, the cart. Duke, stop fucking... At least 60 feet away. I'm going to start go. calling Duke Dad at this rate. At least, At least 60 feet yeah, away. Yeah, probably 60, 70 feet. Okay. okay. I mean, to be. To go I'm going to tr 
I'll do my best to keep the horses calm. Um, I, mean, I can always go have a little see. So. You're the animal man. Do we? Uh, can we avoid it, or no. just do we just? With a normal size bear, would probably get on Jax's shoulders, and we'd go, Wah! and it would probably get intimidated and run away. But um, no, it seems to be pretty preoccupied. Um... And who knows if the bear is the one who's bad? I can I can make myself seem taller. I mean, I doubt I that the bear fun. is the one that's bad, but there does appear to be a person being mauled currently by it. So well, let's go have a little see. Wait, I'm going to, to cast bear? Speak with Animals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting plan. And I'm going to slowly creep closer. Okay. And when I am 45 feet mm -hmm. away from the bear, I'm just going to... Uh, c c do you... Are you okay? Do you need help? Mr. Bear? Mrs. Bear? Leave. What has what happened? Poachers attack me, attack master, and kind of like moves his paw that that is resting on top of a humanoid figure. Leave us. Two of our fellows could, could heal you, could help you if you're hurt, if your master is hurt. Make a persuasion check. Okay. John must dice, please. Blame Johnny if this goes badly. Oh, oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. But my persuasion is bad, so 12. <laughs> bad is your persuasion? The bear kind I of like... Assist, because we don't speak bear. ...lifts its head up and looks, looks at you, and you can now see that this bear is wearing a green collar. Save him. Um, what, what, I will what call is... back to the cart. Elazrin and just Elazrin. Yeah. Come with me. Okay. Now I lean into Kess. Do we reckon he's sacrificing the cleric to the bear to let us past? We're going to. God, I hope well, so. we're going. We're, we're, we're going to approach. <laughs> this is now, now my favorite. We can okay. save your master. If you're hurt, just let me know. I have a feeling your master and I are possibly of the same field of work. Um, the bear kind of lifts his paw off of uh, the humanoid figure and revealing, you see uh, a human, a man, lying unconscious, uh, dressed in a lively garb. Um, and the bear, now that he's kind of move, move, moving away a little bit, uh, you can see that there's two large crossbow bolts in t in its uh, chest area. Is he? I'll go straight to the person. Mm -hmm. Is he still breathing at all, or is he? He is breathing, but he's okay. also uh, bleeding out. I will. When you when you say uh, lively garb, mm -hmm. very colorful, like a minstrel. Or chat, perhaps. Okay. I will try and find like where the main wound is. And mm -hmm. kind of put my hand sort of on it and cast cure wounds on the man. And as you do, you can see some of the wounds close up, and he kind of opening his eyes. It's like <gasps> pimple. He heals. He heals he for max. He kind of like gets gets up and shoots up and sees sees the bear alive, and immediately just get this sigh of relief. Just oh, thank thank the gods. Now Ooh, um. Who are you? Um, I'm a Lazarin. Um, My name's uh, D Davian. That's Davian. Um, we just happened chance to find you here. Is your? Do you want me to heal your friend as, please, as well? Please, is, is he um, not? Uh, he. Now, can you? Are you able to remove the crossbow bolts before I heal him over? I I can take care of that. How or... um, temperamental is your friend when it comes to pain? Um, fairly. I'll, I'll address take, the bear. I'll take. I'll bear. take a step back. And like, <laughs> I'll be here. Let me know when I'll you're ad, ready. I'll, 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 I'll speak to the bear and bear with a couple of, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, your your name's Pimple. 
Yes. Pimple, you appear to have two large crossbow bolts. I noticed. I can attempt to remove them if you can give me your word as a bear that you won't maul me to death when it hurts like hell. I'll try. Or one of the many layers of it. And I will go closer and I will inspect the wounds mm -hmm. and attempt to, while causing as little damage as possible, remove the crossbow bolts, whether I need to saw the ends off or whatever, cut the ends <clears> and pull them through. Or I'd say for the purposes of this, make a medicine check. Can I guide him? You can certainly try. Yeah, I'll from like guide five you. feet back. So I mean, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I'll kind of again go up and be like, "You've got this." Does that give me advantage? No, it gives you a D four. Oh, D four. Okay. It does the pat on the shoulder you do when someone's crying, but they're an ugly crier, and you just pat them on the shoulder and then back away. Uh, seventeen. You uh, pull out one of the crossbow bolts uh, and notice that the tips of these bolts are serrated. So as you pull it out, you can hear this 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 loud, and it, the bear kind of like lifts one paw up in the air and then just kind of like smashes it down onto the ground, like next to you, just out of sheer reaction of the pain. Uh, I don't don't really have anything that's gonna help with the. Oh, I'll take out a torch. Okay. And like, offer the the main shaft of the torch and just say, oh, "Here, butt onto this." He puts you put it in in its uh, in his mouth. So grab the second bolt. Make another medicine check. Oh, another one. Yeah. Again. If I see, another, I'll, I'll give these are these are oh, nasty. God. Oh god! Oh god! I'm getting smacked. <laughs> oh no! Six. Six. You just kind of like as soon as the torch is in the mouth, yank the crossbow bolt out successfully, but the bear just chomps torch breaks in half and he just out of sheer reactions flails his 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 uh his paw back and just smacks you right in the chest uh hold on let me see if you could if you dodge it or let me see what what he rolls hold on mm. oh uh but luckily for you you mm. kind of see it coming because you you realized as you pulled it out that you weren't being exactly the most careful you so you preemptively kind of ducked and you can just feel the wind of this Ooh. large bear paw just <laughs> over your head and he puts his paw back down. Okay, they're out. I'm sorry. I know these are nasty. I'm sorry. It should be fine. Uh, Lazarin, okay. oh, we're going to need no, no. cure wounds. There's a no, lot no, of blood. Pimple. No, no, Pimple. It's going to hurt for just a second, but I'm sure it's fine. I'll kind of put my hand on like whatever wound looks the nastiest. And what is he saying? He said it's going to be fine. He's just going to heal you. Stay calm. Okay. And he heals. Oh, no, Pimple. I'm sorry. <laughs> he heals for Five minimal. Hey. Something. You see Minimum. some of his clothes, some of the like, still some blood, but he kind of looks at you and then looks back at you, Davian. Is Master all right? Probably in better shape than you now. Yeah. And he kind of gets up and and looks at uh, the 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 man that is still sitting on the on the on the road, and immediately kind of like. Starts running towards him and just face plants the ground next to him and kind of like in a playful manner kind of inspects and makes sure that he's okay and uh, seems very happy that his master has been saved. I'll kind of I'll kind of look over to the car and like wave the other two over. Okay, I'm gonna get. Oh, it sounds out like they're being the four four there. Four over. I think gonna... we might just be ready to run. <laughs> um, no, I think it's fine now. I'm gonna get down and I'm gonna go round to the horses. And then just like pat the the noses. Oh, that just reminds say, me. Just say, I I know it looks scary because it's a bear, but it's fine. I think he's friendly. We're just gonna get a little bit closer. And then just like pat the noses and kind of as, lead them forward slowly. As they're being led forward, I'm gonna just excuse myself briefly before speak with animals runs out because it only lasts ten minutes. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go to the horses. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna say, caramel and pepper. Is that all right? Do, do you have names ready? Is there something you prefer? Uh, both horses look at you. Just like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Caramel kind of looks at you. It's fine. And it's Pepper. Oh, I suppose it'll do. 
Why are horses in Pleasure our Pleasure to meet universe? you. I'm Davy, and I'll be driving the cart for the remainder of this journey. Um, just figured I'd check in while I could still do all this. I hope you're doing well. If there's anything you need. We we'll appreciate some real feed instead of grass. Unfortunately, we didn't we didn't get any of the last town, and the only rations we have are dried meat, and I don't think that would do too well. But you could base them whenever we get to the next town. Yeah, right? When we get to the next town, of course, you'll be stabled. It'll be very cushy, I assure you. Like the sign of that. that sounds good. Perfect. Right, this bear it seems friendly enough, but I would. You know, just be on your be on be on the lookout because it is a bear. But I think he's I think he's okay. We are right to just wait here. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you know, if he does make a start for you, obviously you just 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 try go the other way. I just don't go lost. too far because we'll, we'll need our we'll need our things. So don't go too far. We'll be sure. I'm we'll still find just you. patting the horses. As you see, Davy just. <laughs> <laughs> communicating just and the like horse and the horse is replying as well so yeah, yeah. Mm. It's not right the seen. <laughs> and, uh, as 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 sort of everything's you know reassured and we'll head back so what's, to what, our friend and his bear hmm. what's your why name? are horses so, always in our universe just like so nonchalant like no. oh, fuck it yeah whatever like yeah, all horses are laid hard. back like fucking horses Jesus. Are, like overall, like pretty fucking chill animals, dude. Unless that you know, you're in the process of taming them. Yeah, okay, but like other than that, but, it's like... yeah. Oh. I guess you get some wild ones, but then they wouldn't be great for this sort of work. So mm -hmm. it's just every time natural, Dutch like, speaks as a horse, they always sound like someone you could take to the pub. <laughs> now I just got to remember that pepper is Scottish and car caramel mm. sounds a lot more like. I thought they were freezing. Up the freeze. Up the freeze. green cheese or whatever. Mm. All yes, the Frisians I'll... out there will get that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to the. Yeah. So, what's your name? Uh, my name's Pip. Uh, this is Pimple. Uh, we're um, well used to be part of a circus, but now we, we we're solo acts and. Traveling down the road, and these poachers attacked. Probably because Pimple is exceptionally large, and um, they probably saw a lot of gold in the form of his hide. But um, Pimple took care of them. Uh, apparently, uh, when I passed out, there were still three men, and uh, there still are. But yeah. Where are you heading to? It's of a mess. Uh, we're on the way to Southward right now. Uh, be wary. Probably down the road there. There is a, a burnout. Uh... Yes, there's people setting fires. Sounds terrible. Yes, just... It seemed like an entire settlement got burnt yes, down. At least a sort of shanty town type. Oh no. Um. Will I be okay to, to, to we... travel you there? You should be fine. The stuff on itself seems fine. Just seems the J2. There might be. Just keep an eye out. Be wary. Just don't build anything mm. flammable. <laughs> yes. Yeah, stick to don't, the main pass. I believe probably the best don't thing. Don't start a town. Well, I was more implying, you know, will I get attacked again when I'm traveling down that road, or should we, I? Find we didn't. A but who knows? It was uneventful for us for the most. Well, other than seeing the fire, but there yeah. didn't seem to be anyone left around, either. The just keep an eye out. More than anything else. Townspeople. Right. Um. Mm. Can I can I pet Pimple? Uh, he kind of looks at looks at Pimple. Pimple is just like sitting on his on his rear end right now. Every once in a while, there's like just there's like leans over to lick uh, his master across the cheek. It's just like this this big bare tongue, and he's he's kind of yeah. Um, yeah, you're all right. Hey, he he trusts you. You just mind the wounds. Yo, Dad Pog. <laughs> I bears better. More bears better. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm playing D and D. Has immediately like goes and like starts petting him. It's like, oh, you're such a handsome boy. <laughs> Pimple kind of, kind of, kind of looks at you, and 
just lets it happen. Okay, <laughs> He's too tired to really do anything about it. He just kind of lets it happen. How many? Oh any, no! Animal handling good. checks. If Kes gets fucking mauled for <laughs> getting it wrong, no. No, because she's likable. <laughs> no classic. Do you pet you you pet the dog and roll a natural one and kill it by accident or something? <laughs> I have a plus four to animal. You handling. fucking George and Lenny it like a rabbit. No. Oh. So um, where are you off to then? New Darmouth. Yeah, New Darmouth. Oh, so... I spent uh, spent a few few nights there. Uh, I am. Um... Me and Pimple had a, had a had a little bit of a show there in the um, if it's called the Passers By Inn, cheap ale, cheap bedding. So if you're looking for a place to stay, I can recommend it. Does it have a bath? Uh, it it does have a have, have bathing as an option. Yeah. Perfect. It's mainly an inn for 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 travelers, just like yourselves. I'm assuming that don't really intend on sticking around in the city for too long, just to kind of seek shelter for a day, clean up, freshen up a bit, and then off you trot. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, we have to venture into the jungle next, so... Oh, why'd you do that? Because we're maniacs. We want that jungle well, fever. Was, if it wasn't for you maniacs, I'd probably be dead, and so would uh, my, my big friend here, so... Well, I do appreciate the help. I um, don't have much, but I, I, I appreciate it, and I'm very grateful. I don't need any monetary reward for helping you. Don't worry, worry but at all. Just keep yourself safe. And live and prosper. That's all we can ask for. Especially just helping <laughs> out. What's that hand signal mean? <laughs> Nothing in deep can't but I know. It means live long and prosper. Right. It's... This was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh... If you do it it's, that it's way, it means live it's a good fast, die young. Oh no. <laughs> Probably not many people around here that would understand it, but, you know, just between us. Um, hmm. How long have you and Pimple been travelling together then? A <laughs> um, few years now. Like I said, I, I used to be a part of uh, a circus, but... Um, we kind of went our own, our own way. We wanted to... Uh, Brave this new continent, and the circus just didn't want to expand here yet, so decided to try my luck. What was the circus you were, you were in called? Shit, hold on. <laughs> notes, notes, notes. I need to open, like, notes. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. oh shit. This guy's just there, like... <laughs> <laughs> I was in a circus? <laughs> I like I fucking it's... revamped the way I take notes, and now instead of having it all in one document, I kind of have like sectioned off documents that I need to make sure that I open. That just means I have to search. There's a this longer, moment but... in the State of Decay tutorial where there's a guy coming in to to start dialogue, but the game just locks up for like forty seconds. That's what that's what this is like in real life right now. Oh my god. And in his brain, it's like it's like that SpongeBob episode where he, where SpongeBob's like, "Oh god, what's his name? What's his name?" And they're like going through all the filing cabinets because he forgot everything except fine dining and breathing. <laughs> Dude. I love inconveniencing the DM with. You really are. Just... You're asking a lot of questions. For some reason, I can't hmm. find. On, I on can't what find date? It. Was the last I can't festival find the of the backstory. shining moon? The shining I... moon. I don't fuck. Know, what the fuck is it called? <laughs> I don't know. Take notes, man. I can't take notes of what you say out of character. character like, yeah, what? dude, that's that's, that's meta true. gaming. Yeah, that's true. I that that is meta information. You're yeah, right. we're good My players. About it was like the know. new moon festival or something, but that just sounds like the Chinese New Year. No, it's not that. The many moon. The it moon. was the moon fire many, fair. Many moons. Many moons. Was it actually? Yeah. Oh, got him. Got him. Nice one, man. <laughs> oh, um, What's the name of the circus? <laughs> oh, what was the name of the circus? Dude, I cannot find the notes of me, but it's the. That's what. Bell, you know. Oh, is it? Is it? Is yeah. it? Ectonis's? Okay. Yeah, but I completely fucking just cannot it's, find um... that sheet. Anymore. Oh, Bell can't fuck her in bit. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, fuck. Now we've got two people. Oh. Check oh, down. How dare you? No, I know what it is. 
Me Scarborough meanwhile, Fair. Jax Wait, and Dagon both are also just. <laughs> <laughs> I just look. I look at Damage. Just be like, it's time stopped. Oh. Existential crisis. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. I think someone's oh. cast a spell. Leave me alone. Only, only you and I can move, Elazar. <laughs> I'll run back to the cart. <laughs> Why did I Anyway, it's circus. <laughs> it's the circus circus. <laughs> it's the insert circus name here, circus. But did you find the belt or no? Place uh, I'm circus. just checking my notes. Okay. Fuck. Circus Dude, I, of Redacted. Fucking have it. I had it's on your fucking sheets. And I just can't find your sheets. And that's my bad. I'm I can't sorry. find your sheet. Oh <laughs> <laughs> like my had what wheels, do? Be a bicycle. <laughs> no, you just fucking keep going. There's no dead air. Yeah. No. There's no there's no dead air. There's no dead air. Keep talking. There's no dead air. Simple as that. We're waiting for you to answer gone. the question so we can then just say circus. Give us a there is no oh, the Cirque no Arcana. That's the That's one, it. dude. Fucking hell. Jesus. Hey. He just goes. Hey. I knew it was something to do with magic. He's like, yeah. the Cirque Arcana. Arcana. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, Everyone at, at once comes back to life yeah. <laughs> and says it in unison, even though really, only um, one of them knew it. Decided to um, take our travels to this new land and see what we could do. Just you and a bear. Mm hmm. Seems like the kind of life I could see myself living at some point, to be honest. Do you have a bear? No, yeah, but I mean... You're replacing us all with a bear? I said at some point I could see myself <laughs> living this sort of life. Uh, what? No, that, at that, some point could we be We went tomorrow. drinking now, we're basically married. I mean, at some point could be tomorrow. Well, oh, no. people can get divorced. Oh, I've got to <laughs> apologize to a few people. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, why well, you married already? Really appreciate the help. Uh, I think we best get going <laughs> now. But um, thank you, <laughs> truly. Well, no problem. Let's say, rest up easy when you can. Try. And hopefully, your friend here won't uh, attract too much more attention. Mm. Um. I don't know. Kind of see off. I don't know. Any if good you're... loot on the on the poachers? Make an investigation check. Eggs, <laughs> maybe. Mm. If you're still going to South Southhold, um, yes. The oh, I moved my page and immediately forgot. The Solid Crow Inn is really good. Thank um, you. Innkeeper is named Jolly. Check it out. Thank you. I got a six. Six? Nothing of interest at all. Not a good day for you, huh, Duke? Rolling wise. Mm. <laughs> Is it ever? Bless you. True. Well then, shall we get going? Are any sure. of the. You mentioned that they had barbed arrows, right? Uh, the two bolts, uh, bolts that got taken out of uh, the bear were serrated. Well, do any of the corpses have bolts on them? No. Fuck. And the ones, the bolts that you do see are like cracked and broken and just wait like, just... okay um uh the two bolts are the head still intact yeah all right we'll pick them up i mean doesn't davian, what about davian the... did you throw them on the floor or yeah yeah just okay hold them out yeah, of there you, you have two serrated uh arrowheads arrow crossbow bolts technically bolt heads bolt heads you said none of the corpses have bolts. Did any of the corpses have crossbows? Um, you can't find it. Like I can't it. because of my roll. Or... Yes, exactly. Okay. okay, okay. Roll shit. It equals just seemed a little. Good. Yeah, it just seemed a little sussy. Like I thought there was like a weird mystery here. Like he's like can an I... insurance fraud con. Can I? Like, <laughs> can, no, I can I see? Can I see? Equals no loot. Can I see Simple. what's what's going on? What do you mean? Of these, of just with. The, like if they've got cross, like what crossbows they've got, what, what weapon? Stuff. I was about to no. lose it. No, no, the, the weaponry. Just see what's happening. I'm seeing. Investigate the bodies. Yeah, they see. But don't want to investigate. 
don't want to investigate just that. Like, I'm not like yeah. just no, going to be like investigating like, the bodies again. What is happening? And I'm like, there's nothing happening. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's just, that's just, I got so confused like, just by the way you were wording it. So like, what is sorry, mean? brain doesn't fucking work properly at the moment. You want to uh, do a good point? Do you want to have a look human. around? Make an investigation check. And, um, Quality investigation. Uh, Nineteen. You look around and I mean, uh, what happened here? What transpired? It yeah. Seems pretty accurate to what the guy said. Uh, poachers or hunters of some kind seeing big bear, thinking, "Ooh, fur might sell for a lot of money," and then they got destroyed by the bear. Do they look like a? Um, do they have like uh, crests on them at all? That like they were much up? No, they, like, not at all. They were just wearing ram ram pretty standard like leather okay, armor. Cool. Okay, but cool. This doesn't seem to be the too organized. Doesn't seem like a massive like uniformed group. Well then, shall we just, I'll kind of, just go back into the car and sit in the car and wait. <laughs> like, I don't know who you guys are. Hmm? Uh, yeah, I'll car. hop back up onto the, onto the seat. And as we, when we depart, I'll take a wide bath around that bear with the whole suit. <laughs> okay. uh, as you kind of pass, uh, both the bear and the man kind of like give you a little wave. Like the, the bear also like gets on his gets on his hind legs and just. Okay. <laughs> Polite bear. I, I want to minor illusion some applause next to them as as the bear does that. <laughs> it's funny it's because like... you like emulate the sound of an applause, and it's almost like the bear just responds naturally by like getting on his hind legs again and doing something that resembles it's a bow. And... He's gonna hurt himself. Oh, um, so there was something I wanted to say, but then I got distracted. Never mind. Onwards. Yeah, onwards, really. All right. Yeah. All there is to say. The rest of your day of travel goes by pretty, pretty easily. It's uh, not much, not busy on the road. The occasional, as you get closer to New Dharma, the occasional trade carts will pass you by, and you know you get like a little nod from from the. Uh, from the from the driver felt of like that a cart. blessing from Joaquin every time they like it's a different if it's a trader cart. There you go. And by sunset, you reach the outer walls of New Daramuth. The same uh, white and blue color scheme as you're used to uh, uh, in Eldilon. And as you enter, uh, you immediately uh, kind of the the road gets blocked by guards that kind of tell you to to, to halt. Go out there, big fella. As he kind of approaches uh, you, uh, Davian. Top of the evening. Good evening. To you. Um, just uh, a few questions before you uh, you enter the city. Uh, first, of all, first, of which was your uh, region of uh, region of stay? Passing through. Fair enough. Fair enough. Where you headed? Just be staying the night. The jungle, if you believe me, on uh, mm. Commander Kron's orders. General Cron. General Cron. Yes, sorry. We've not long since been acquainted. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> right. uh, well, in that case, I won't hold you for too long. You can stable your horses and your cart right over there. And he kind of points towards, like, like a stable. Um, uh, and uh, as far as accommodations go we've got a couple of inns but uh easiest for you probably be uh the passerby since uh that's kind of what you are and uh, um, some of you look like you could use a bath yeah no uh yeah. have you had any refugees from a fire recently uh i can't say i have one there's a uh, some small settlement looked like a lot of tents and huts just ablaze between here and uh Southwold, something like that. I know there's some, like, not quite villages, but some like, yeah, settlements. Yeah. Between here and there, would you, would you say, did you say fire? Burned, burned. Big fire. I mean, looked like no one survived. But That's... I was hoping at least a couple maybe did and made their way here. No, no, nothing over here as far as, far as I can tell. Maybe they went to Southwold since that's also kind of on the way, I suppose. But. It was closer to Southwolds, but we mm. didn't see anyone on the way there, so I thought maybe if they'd come this way instead. I, c I can't say I have, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe it happened while I wasn't on shift, or I don't know. But me personally, I'm, I'm not sure, and I haven't heard. 
Well, um, it's horrible, if, you've, if you've been made aware of any kind of arson going on in, in this part of the world, um, um, it's like another pieces. case. If not... General Cron uh, sent over a letter to inform us that mainly in the South Ward area, there's there's fires being set by some group of lunatics. And oh, you reckon? You reckon they burnt down that well, village? It, 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 exactly the same modus operandi. The same and there was insignia. A red dragon sign here. The red I'll, dragon. Uh, I'll make a report of what you're saying, and I'll send the General Cron see if she wants to. Actually, do something about it now because uh, this is. Um, I can only assume, you know, not everybody made it out, so it's. It's tragic, really. Um, thank you for letting me know. I'll make sure to make a report of it and get it over to General Cron as fast as I can. All right, we'll make. Well, we'll stable the horses and cart, and make our way to the passes by in, right? That's what you said? Yeah. All right, uh, thank you very it's, got, it's got bathing, it's got. Quite comfy beds, uh, cheap ale, so. And uh, Sounds welcome perfect. to New Darimuth, of course. Thank, Thank you. you kindly. Um, well, we'll be on our way, and I'll just trot the horses through. Shift. Thank mm. you. All right, uh, uh, you get you get to the stables, and uh, there's a couple of city guards there. It seems that in this city, the stables are are. It's not like. A, a separate like business it is just part of uh part of the city really so you you, you get to stable your horses there for free uh your cart and there are guards there 24 7 making sure that nobody you know makes off with any of the horses or the carts or anything that may be inside the carts that's guarded um and then you make your way to the passage by in mm -hmm. okay yeah unpack anything we might need from the cart and make our way to the inn all right as you enter uh, the passerby inn, uh, there's uh, it's it's quite quite big. There's uh, several tables full of of people just having dinner, drinking, talking. And behind the bar, you see uh, an, an older individual, uh, a human, like thinning gray hair. If you had to like put a put a guesstimate on his age, anywhere between sixty and seventy, like he's a, he's a veteran when it comes to running a bar. That much uh, seems uh, clear. And um, Gives you a little nod and uh, walks over to you. You're all there. Can I do for you? Well, um, some rooms, use of baths, food and drink. You know, the run the whole, whole, lot, the whole package. Them. Indeed. Six people. Yes, please. If we all can right. do it in three separate rooms, that'd be perfect. Three I'll separate rooms. Two. Never think. Uh, can do, yeah. I, th I believe there's, there's, there's enough rooms available. All right. Um, so for six of you, including all the accommodations, so access to the baths. Uh, would you like breakfast included? Oh, that'd be wonderful. Right, right. Uh, that would be three gold total. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. And you, and as I'll take three gold, but it'll be like you see, it goes like three different pockets. Uh, it seems very yeah. inefficient, but thank you. What? Are they all extra shiny? I just oh, know, I yeah. I just noticed that you're, you know, a coin in each pocket. That seems very inefficient. Why not just have it all he, in one place and you can just... He got pocketed by a child, so he's a little paranoid now. I mean, no, I would... I did he's it developed all the time a phobia of children. Yeah. No, I used to... Uh, or shall blame him. Uh, I'll kind of... Uh, it's just so I can keep them all clear. It's the ones I need to, like, clean and all that. I, he kind of I looks like at you balance. and uh, notices the necklace. Or, like, the, the, the thing you have around your yeah. neck. Ah! That makes sense now. Right. Uh, well, if you need anything, uh, you can call me Robert. Thank you, Robert. And uh, if you need any food or drink, uh, just let me know, and I'll uh, I'll get ready for you. Uh, here's your keys to the rooms, is... and you get handed three keys. Thank you. I'll give you out. Give one to Brooks. One I will to pass my key over to Jax, because the first thing I want to do is head for the bath. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, right, which exactly way are the baths? Thank which you, way? Oh, oh it's still that door. There's a little staircase that takes you down to uh, to the basement. The basement has been uh, uh, basement baths re re basement repurposed baths. as as you know. I wouldn't say bathhouse. It's nothing fancy, but uh, it's clean water and big baths and it's, it's hot water at that. And there's some Trying some things say. you could use to clean yourselves with. So um, it'll do. Yeah, Kes gives her bag and stuff to Diagon as well, and then just skips off in that direction. I 
<laughs> I opposite. I'll take my stuff up, put it in my room, and just go back down. I get Dagen doesn't bathe. Dagen just licks herself. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> it's all she's been doing in the cart the entire way. Yeah, and it's that really uh, noisy like <laughs> that cats always do. No it so it's like, we're always like Dagen. it's like sandpaper on a wall. That's as you are all uh, having your baths and all that stuff. Uh, we take our break here, and then we'll continue uh, after the break, because I really got to go to the bathroom really bad. Okay. Uh, so we're going to take a break here, five to ten minutes. We'll be back after for uh, the second half of the session. Thanks for being here so far. Appreciate you, sweet. Thanks again for the raid. Much love, homie. And we'll be back in like five to ten-ish minutes. Stick around. Sounds good.
We are left with an old English Hello. cast today. Oh. Yeah. Old English cast. In yeah. Come on, DM English. English I mean, I'm Red technically part of the cast too, right? No. No. Okay. No, I can freak you. You're the host. Yeah. Uh, I, feel, I feel like I'm the host sometimes. Um. Anyway. Hey everybody, welcome back to Dungeon Select. Break time over. I needed to pee so bad, dude. Like like that last half hour before break, I was just sitting here like, oh, Jesus. I was very, very happy to get that off my fucking, out of my system. Um, we should get nice drink, we drink water a lot, guys. That's when, you know, you pee a lot. Yeah, yeah I, water. I always have like two drinks per session yeah, on the go. Two or three. Yeah. Like, I, I'll always have tea and water, or Vimto, yeah. or whatever, and I, it, oof. I've gotten into the habit I of just drinking it. three glasses of water before every meal. And, mm. uh, I mean, that equates to, like, almost two liters of water that I just fucking <laughs> consume throughout the yeah. day. And then, I don't know, like, t towards the evening is when my bladder starts to go, like, hey, pee time. And then I pee. Like, I don't really go to the bathroom a lot during the day, but in the evening, suddenly, I, I gotta go, like, four or five pees. We're gonna have just... to inst institute like a pre ds bathroom rule i guess no, I, mean, I, went. I went before yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 i did that before and it's like an hour and a half later i'm like i've drunk fucking exactly. two pints of water <laughs> like a pint of water so, and a fucking pint of tea or something yeah party that has no name as of yet it's us you're in the new Dartmouth. you're in uh the passerby inn you've all had your baths freshened up um still have a bit they... of evening ahead of you what do you are they individual do? baths or is it like one communal bath? There's individual baths. Okay. I'll freshen up, freshen up my my, my clothing. I guess that's all. Yeah. Stairs. Yep. And then we'll. Uh, I'm just want to sort of sit in the um. Uh, like tavern for the area. Yeah, get a table in the tavern. I'm just gonna kind of people watch and kind of mm -hmm. see if I see any like fucking dragon shit or any like, any, like, any characters. Oh, I just want to see if I on. see, like, you know, any dragon signals, or if I kind of maybe see something, you know, something shady going on. Make That's a like perception check. I absolutely walked past a Lazarus and didn't bother to get down dressed downstairs in just, like, a towel as I head upstairs. I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> perception check, 22. You look around, and the majority of the people in this tavern definitely seem the traveler type. Um, some of which carrying... Uh, weapon, like visible weaponry, which makes you assume they're probably mercenaries of some kind, uh, which is not an uncommon occupation in these yeah. parts. Um, some traveling traders, you overhear conversation of, of them, you know, discussing uh, certain like markets and, and, and special and fairs and stuff that they're traveling to with their uh, carts full of goods and trinkets and whatnot. As far as anything shady goes, not really. Already, seems pretty seems pretty chill. Cool, cool, cool. I'll, I'll, again, I'll keep an eye for like many Joaquin type symbols as well, just as like a especially with like merchant lot. Um, anything any interesting gossip or anything going on just around? I make a perception check? See if you overhear something, who knows? Do I have to? I mean you ask. I mean I'm looking out I'm not really looking I'm not really listening to a lot of people, I'm mm. just looking. I'm people watching. Seven. Uh, not really. Natural two. Natural two. Natural two. Oh boy. Uh, not Yo, really. The, 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 the most wheat. interesting thing you hear is that there seems to be some kind of like uh sale going on at the general store. Wow. That's really that's really the most interesting. Has the what price is, of what, wheat gone up? Or... Hmm? What's on sale? Uh, you're not sure. There's just like oh, there's there's a sale going on at the general store. Um, when I'm talking to Daigon with, like, the thieves' camp, I want to keep an eye out and see if anyone has any kind of look of understanding or recognition on their face. Basically, see if anyone knows thieves' camp. <laughs> Make a perception check. I'll joke in thieves' camp, see if anyone oh. laughs. Yeah. <laughs> perception. Oh, my. Uh. What's my perception check? So, 17. Um, as you kind of do your thieves can thing, a couple tables over, there's a, a group that seems to be mercenaries, and one of which, uh, uh, an elven fella, 
looks at you and kind of signals and thief scans. Uh, be careful. You never know who might be able to listen in. Um, I'm just going to, like, nod. I would like an ale. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Robert, the innkeep, walks up to your table. The boss, uh, up to you, up to your standards. No, they're perfect. Oh uh, yeah, good. absolutely. Very good. Can I get you anything to drink? Maybe some, maybe a bite, bite to eat, perhaps. Oh, pitcher of ale. Can do. Maybe some food and Light some sausages. water as well. Uh, sausages. Anything else? Uh, we've got potato. Um, you still, I'll just whip something up and uh, any picky yeah. is here or not me. Not any me. any Probably vegetarians that one. Not perhaps not or what's that thing called? We only eat fish. Okay. Pescatarian? Is that, is that yeah, that's what it's called? No. Pescatarian, I think. That oh, doesn't sound right. Well if Pis Pisce P I S C E it is the fish. Anyway, oh, anybody or any special dietary needs? Because the last thing I want is to offend anyone with the plates of food that I'm about to serve or kill them. No, no special. We'll find no one said anything previously. I'll have some water on the table, though. Water? Pitcher of ale? Anything else? I still think. Or, uh, how about food and ale. It's perfect food and to ale. me. All right, sounds good. Um, that'll be total. Cut you a little discount because you, you stay in the night. Um, be about so you plates of food for six people. Which you reveal. It'll be about eight silver for the meal and the drinks. Do I mm, do I have silver? I'm looking six. at last ring. <laughs> six silver, you said. Eight. It's just like the three gold, eight. dude. I'll give you ten. Yeah. Like, have three gold for I'll, give, I'll, give, I'll give. Well, I'll give him a gold coin. What? Yeah. Oh, it. All right, give me about give me about twenty minutes, and I'll uh, and I have your food. Uh, I'll, I'll bring you drinks first, but I'll have your food ready in about twenty minutes or so. I think. Perfect. Go, goes to the bar, fills up a quite sizable like pitcher of ale, and puts uh, six mugs on the table as well, and a pitcher of water. When well, he, he still has your food. Like, when he like leaves your food, like turns down and be like, "Can we can we pay for everything previously? That's why he said it was all included." <laughs> Three gold. Oh, no. I don't. I don't think dinner. That was, was that was breakfast. That. Yeah, I thought it was breakfast. Was breakfast. That was breakfast and bath access to the amenities serves. like the bath, baths and all mm. that was included with the prize. Dinner was not discussed. Fair enough. I mean, this is your fault, Jax. It's so right. fuck you, Sand bastard. <laughs> so Kess. Yes. How have we come into possession of two fine horses? And a cart. Oh, back on this. Yes. <sighs> I made a trade. At what expense? You don't seem to be traveling any lighter. No. You gave her soul. Does this not concern anybody else? I mean, I mean, she... I made a joke that she gave her soul, but the way that you said that was. I mean, unnerving. What? Was it was it a trade of equal footing that was favorable to all parties involved, or no? Yes, it was fine. Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> Roll insight check. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen. Well. Deception, uh, persuasion. Don't tell us. Fifteen. Motherfucker. <laughs> as far as you can tell, Elazarin. Plus six to inside. There, uh, you, you, nobody chased you out of the town yelling that. Oh, my cart got stolen. So far, everything seems all right. What's the worst that uh, could happen? Oh, exactly. Well, if you say it's favorable, you know. I mean, been nice to. I could probably have helped it you. Seems maybe. rather favorable, does it not? We have two horses. We have a cart. No one seemed too mad about it. That seems pretty favorable to me. Well, no, because we didn't know what was exchanged in the process. Who knows what other contract or work we will have to do in the future? But for now, I suppose. I mean, well, we. There's no I mean, me. Cass made right. the deal. If it's if it's fucked, then 
I, I think you're great, but the fuck, man. Okay. If it's shitty, I'm out. See you later. I mean, that's true. Let me put it this way. We, in case it comes back to bite Kess, and Kess happens to be traveling with us, it kind of turns into our problem quite quickly if people come along demanding shit. What's it that way, shall we? So yes, okay. it's Kess's problem, but it could and be Dagen. someone else. Oh yes, and oh Dagen Oh, pardon. and Dagen, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, then if anything, it's half the fifty-fifty then. Listen, Did we've you... been traveling a long time together. We've I'll look been... at their fingers real friends. quick, make sure they got them all. <laughs> have they been walking weirdly, They're missing toes? <laughs> Everything seems fine. Well, if you guys know what you're doing, then sure thing. Just you know. We... Don't drag us down with you. No, we bear the brunt of the cost. Bear the brunt that makes of it the seem cost. worse. Much worse. So there is a brunt. What a cost? Uh, but a cost is a cost, but a cost with a yeah. brunt. Well, I just mean the majority. Was the person you didn't say the You said bear the brunt. That sounds a little more. What exactly are you nervous about? A brunt, hanging over the heads of our traveling companions as we venture into a jungle that none of us know the ins or outs of. It seems like the jungle should be more of a concern. Now, with this trade, was there a formal contract My job. made, yeah. or was it only clearly just spoken words? And we have spoken to do word. But oh, that's fantastic news. Better than any piece of paper with well a signature on it. You haven't done many trade deals, have you? <laughs> no, I sort of agree with Cass. It's very easy to forge paper. Uh, okay. That's why you make two copies, so then you have one each. Oh, and I... And I just break into your house and replace yours with one that is better No, well, well, no, you'd formalize the deal. For... You guys haven't been merchants, have you, for a while? It's a long process to... I yeah, wish so really much more here. Yeah. It's to be a great get-to-know-each-other episode. <laughs> <laughs> On the subject of which, Lazarus. Hello. I just feel like showing off your signature, do you? <laughs> to you? No. I've seen what you've done. I've seen... And what you're talking about? Uh, true. So, what did everybody do before we ended up in an unknown town on our way yeah. to the jungle? I mean, Elijah, that's clear. You're I mean, a holy I mean, man. Well, no, I mean, obviously, if you know, you know, my name's Vinod Dunbar. If you know that family name, you kind of know all no about idea. me. Um, it's so I'll pull so. Off, I'll pull off like a uh, one of my rings and kind of show them the insignia of like a diamond with like wings on it. Uh, my family... Diamond with wings. Yeah, it's like a like uh, it's hard to say it's white wings because obviously it's fucking in, in engraved into into a ring. Uh, my family are jewelry makers from the from the kingdoms, and that's our insignia. Very high fine jewelry owner mine. Mine the jewels, and we thought, well, we might as well make the uh, make the jewelry ourselves, and can sell it for a premium. Very, pretty well known. So that explains some of your know-how. Um, huh? Given certain things, but I have heard this name before. Uh, given that that family is in the kingdoms, no, you, not you... even with. Uh, the paperwork I have? No. Okay. We have some exports to town about, but we mainly reside in the kingdoms. I've okay. never been to the kingdoms. What's it no. like? Um, like this, but less moist, apparently. I mean, it's lovely. I mean, maybe if, if there were some problems a few years ago, before my time, but my, fam my father tells me about them. Um, what kind of problems? Oh, I don't know. You, 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 yeah, war, war mainly. Ooh. Yeah, mainly war, mainly villainy and tyrants. You know. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Goodwind. Goodwind didn't struggle too much, but mm. um, Fairborough had some 
No, oh, Febra's my uh... changes of power and Febra apparently be my dead. Apparently, demon lords or something. Okay, from so the, the stories of the heroes of demons mentioned, but mm. it sounds like a fairy tale. Most stories tend to be. That's why they're called stories. All right, here's your meals, and uh, he, the, Roberts comes Ooh, walking wow. over with uh, six plates of <laughs> sausages and roast potatoes sausages and, and some, some veggies. Hell yeah. yeah. Any gravy? Yeah, like a little like a uh, little container yeah. of gravy that you can just use to pour over the, your the uh, classic. Beef, now there is chicken or pork gravy. Huh? Beef, chicken, or pork Go gravy. Fuck yourself. Well, the pork sausages would be pork gravy. Uh, pork gravy is mediocre. <laughs> I'll take it back if you want. <laughs> I mean, do you have any beef gravy? Are we eating beef? Do you know how gravy is made? Yes. Joy mules. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. It was just a question, lads. Come on. Choke on it. <laughs> Brooks, I thought you were supposed to be quite the charming person. You seem to be quite rude sometimes. I suppose he can turn it on and off. Or he has all the charm and wherewithal of a tavern keep. No mm. offense. <laughs> to the tavern keep. I mean, look, I'm. I just don't think that pork gravy is where it's at, but. It was only a question. I mean, if I wanted to try and charm the man, I probably could, but. I, I would pay to see you try that. and charm that man. How much? Far less than you'd be wanting. What did you do before you came to the continent? Me? Yeah. Oh, um. Slept with whores, I think. <laughs> I did I that. Think I do that now as well. That's not really a. Before. Doesn't mean you didn't do it before. <laughs> less of a less of a career, more of a hobby. Um, the vested interest, maybe. Uh, I. Oh God! I mean, lots. Um, I, as you've all guessed, did quite a lot of bar work. Um. Before that, my uh, my father has a has a forge, has a smithy. So I grew up. Most of you from becoming a smith. Boredom mostly. And I'm very good at general. As Jax can attest, I'm very good at general smith's work. I just don't like the whole design process. I don't have the attention span to sit down and plan something out unless it's something I have a a great interest in. So like a personal project I'm I'm all in, but someone wants you to make this specific thing, it's, it's fucking effort. Oh yeah, I know I know what you mean. I, I have many friends who will make people things that they need, but if they ask for something specific, it they don't tend to get what they asked for. In what context? Like bl blacksmithing or? Yeah, crafts of many different kinds. Here? No, no, not here. I haven't been on this continent very long. Where have you been? Close my window I've real been, quick. I've been through the expanse. Thermogar, Scalia. So you've been to Scalia? Yeah. That's interesting. Empire. Is that where your smithy's from? It's where I'm from, and and where this smith is, yeah. What town? As in, what town was I born in? What town is this yeah, smithy? Where, what? Where did where did I bartend? Where did you live mostly before you came here, or wherever you went? I mean, originally, I. Uh, I, I was born in Stonefall, which is uh, when I was younger. When I moved in with, but I have we established. It? I feel like I've spoken about this, but I might have been drunk and talking to just Jacks and misremembering it. Um, I say father, but adoption 
Yada yada. Um, but that was in Stonefall. Oh, I've been to Stonefall. Did you happen to go to the forge there? Yeah, I got one of my daggers from there. They're about two inches taller than me. Man, very well built. Goatee, long black hair. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, no. that was... Which dagger? Uh, I'll pull out one of my daggers. I don't think Kessa's fought with the daggers yet, has she? Mm-mm. You're going to turn it over. Was this dagger forged by either me or my father? Was it Bell? Yes. There you go. I'm going to... Okay. Yeah, there's only one problem with this. Hmm? Dad didn't make this. No way. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so, uh... I may have saw maybe maybe a couple copper out of this, <laughs> but uh, I made this. That's really sort of scary. <laughs> Weirdly small world, all things considered. Very, yeah, very it much so. Yeah, exceptionally large when I first started traveling. Where are you from? That's what she said. <laughs> Yes, all that matters. Where did you hail from? Then the oh, Lord of Namora. Tiny little village in the in the Phelan Forest. Oh, I thought you were about to say Feywild. Feywild. Yeah. My <laughs> yeah, bloody hell. Well, that would have been uh, quite the uh, being quite no, the traveller. I know a lot the about the Feywild, but I've never been there. Mm. Nice. You um, just an interest or? Well, m- my my father. I've I never met him, but he used to be a researcher and did a, wrote a lot of books on the Feywild. Hmm. So I I mostly read those to try and figure out who he used to be. Like my, my, my scholarly, mother, scholarly fairy fairy books, or yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like the the, the Feywild fairy tales, which you know every no, but they mostly tend to be almost one and the same. I mean, yeah, historical Feywild stories tales tend to be true. I I assume that. Everyone else had the the Feywild fairy tales book as a kid. Oh no, not me. I was on brought up on religious texts. That's sort of depressing. I might have had a copy, but I didn't spend too much time reading. Don't reading. don't get me wrong. I'm not a great reader, but my uh, my brother is. So. Oh, fair enough. Um, well, they're mostly me? true. I mean, I've heard you a little bit before when we first met, but. I mean, I spent most of my life here, interestingly enough. Over in, uh, well, in Briarstown, a town named for my own family. But uh, my father settled the place and my mother was, is, still, the ranger in command of the lodge there. So I was mostly raised, well, as soon as I was old enough really to hold a bow and arrow, I was mostly raised out in the in the wilderness with her. Um, yeah, so, frankly, I I know more about this continent than I do even Goodwind, which is where my father and mother came from, so, I really don't have any fantastic stories about the Empire or anything like that, or even the the kingdoms, Um, really, but... I'm sure the continent is far more exciting, there's new things here. Well, I mean, yeah, when you, when you get, when you get further away from society, I suppose, things start to liven up a bit but even even Briarstown has been around here long enough now that it's sort of settled into a, a, a monotony I suppose nothing was too dangerous anymore everything was a bit sort of run of the mill at that point that's why I started running around with caravans more skills seem more suited to just venturing out with traders looking for whatever n- sort of new wondrous things might lie and wait in the jungle so much more exciting that way. Mm. And it brought me here. I've got no complaints about that, I suppose. Eldalon. And, uh... Well. Sekthar does seem like an interesting next step. Well, indeed it does. Who knows what we'll, uh... We'll find if anything to go by. I think we've got a lot more. I guess yours seems excited in the new. And learning. You have a passion for learning, it seems. 
something draws me to it, and I'm excited right. to find out what exactly. Ranger's instinct? I don't know about an instinct so much as an intuition. Could you say that they're different? I think going I to philosophy the there, that's not my cup of tea, philosophy. I don't know. Like Instinct feels some, like something innate and inexplicable, but it feels more... Isn't intuition innate and inexplicable? Mm. Mm, oh, okay, the instinct <laughs> seems more the animalistic. About Intuition in... seems more are educated. You claim, are you claiming it to be destiny? I don't know about destiny. I don't really <laughs> believe in things like that. What do you All mean? I know is that there's something very interesting there. <laughs> so I'm glad that our paths have led us there. At the very least, I am destined for another drink. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. Here, here, yeah, here's, here's, here's to that. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, pour another glass of ale. I'll just so, pour myself uh, a water. We're all being all sherry. <laughs> mm. What do you guys do for fun? Other than... I don't know at this point. Uh, go for walks in the in the jungle and polish coins. Talking to animals is remarkably fun. I know that sounds oh, yeah, I know. probably a little Isn't fun. Why you doing that? Really Did you... Is that... Uh, well, I assume it's a magical ability of yours, but... Yeah. That's, um, do you understand them, or is it you just talk? Yeah, there's some... There is an understanding. It's weird. Even yeah. if it sounds nonsensical, yes. there is definitely... I mean, the bear was nice enough. The horses seem very nice. Did you ask about the names? If you yes, uh, pepper and caramel seem to fly. I, I think I'll, that'll be all right. Yeah, that's all right I, I spoke to the birds, for example, to ask about mm. Sekthar to see what was going on, and they were very helpful. Remarkably, they told they they told me that there was some sort of gathering going on, and it seemed unsafe. Oh, fantastic news! We need that. Yeah. More, to be fair. Well, I mean that's terrible news, but I mean at least they were helpful. Well, uh, it's not it's not much of a pastime though. I mean. I don't know how much time I could possibly spend <laughs> talking to animals, but it's interesting to get a little bit of perspective from sort of, you know, animals of each okay, so kingdom. When this is done and we have a few days to ourselves, what do you do? What's your fun? What's your downtime? Well, here? Anywhere? Anywhere? Well, hmm. if we were to remain here, look for something that no one has ever found before. Ooh, like what? Really don't have an off switch, do you? I mean, uh, in the nicest way possible, but... Well, I mean, if it's... Like, I, I, you, I, I, I hate rest? towns. That can be considered rest. Spending time in the jungle doesn't necessarily mean it's all hard work. I mean... Until you catch some deadly disease. If it's, if it's a disease that no one's ever seen before, then... I finally found it. The thing that no one else has ever discovered. And I'm gonna tell the world. <laughs> if if you grew up, like in on this continent, do you have any natural resistance to things like the jungle fever? Possibly. I don't know. So, yeah. Jungle fever seems to be a very broad umbrella of snake bites that people haven't seen before. Bug bites. Insect stings. Plant poison. It could just be anything, really. I mean, it, funnily enough, most things will give you some kind of fever. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah it, it's it's very broad. I've been bitten by snakes a couple times. It hasn't been too bad. In fact, I've seen, well, I've seen, lost some friends to some remarkably interesting things. But I suppose that's all part of the job. As for just the general environment, though, I don't know. The bugs can carry all sorts of nasty things. I'm sure maybe I've got some sort of constitutional advantage, but other than, you know, maybe dealing with the temperature, the, the climate a bit better, and nothing's going to save me if a snake bites me on the ass. Tell what they tend to bite? Well, if you aren't looking. I'll make sure I'll look before I sit down. Exactly. Exactly, it's when you, that's when, because you, you know, you've got a log, the log's got a hole in the hole, there's a snake in, you sit down. 
And you've got your pants around your ankles is probably most common. <laughs> Why else would you sit in a log with a hole in? Because there's no other log available to sit down on for rest. <laughs> Navi looks very done with my shit. <laughs> what do you do for fun, Brooks, other than drink yourself stupid? And then you seem to do that professionally also. <laughs> We've had one night out together. Maybe two. When we met, the, 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 the bottle of whiskey didn't seem to leave your hand, so. And you're anchored yeah, to but the that was... every three seconds. I, I still have half of that bottle, so. And credit to you did meet during a festival, but still. Mm. First impressions are, are the most lasting. Ah, uh, yes. How how dare I go and drink at the point at which everyone else in the city is drinking. <laughs> Someone did die. Did that stop any were... anyone else from drinking? For a bit. For about three hours, if that. Until the emissary, whatever her face is, came out again and said, Hey, let's keep going for whatever reason. I didn't reason. die, let's get fucked. Um, Fair enough. There was a reason to drink. I, it, I'm a complicated man. Of of many hobbies, it depends on my mood. Um, do you want, like, how specific do you want? Just general I'm general just repeating your hobbies. question back to you. Okay, that's fair. So just give me uh, the sort of answer that you were expecting from us. I like... I, I'm a surprisingly competent-ish dancer. Um, really? Yeah. Um, oh, I love dancing. I, I sketch. I've, uh, sketching I'm not competent at, but it's more of a busy thing. I, it, I, it, it helps me think to be doing something, whether that's Drinking or sketching or fighting. Um, drinking helps you think. Okay. <laughs> when you're, you know what I mean. When you're not like drinking, drinking, but just having something to hold on to. And um, I believe it or not, used to used to get in fights for money. That was a fun hobby. Um, cards, gambling. Um, every now and again, I'll find something that I actually want to work on and will pick up, you know, go rent some space in a forge somewhere and make something. And I don't plan. I just sort of like to let inspiration hit me. Like a cart in the dead of midnight. Mm -hmm. What are you, Lazarin? Save me from this awful monologue. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I ever switch off. Fun isn't. Well, if everyone. you enjoy what you do, then. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Was it the joy where you work? You never work a day in your life. Exactly. You know. That's uh, not true at all. It's not, but to be fair, my work. Tends, we'll get to you. My work <laughs> does. My work does tend to be just traveling around and helping people. I mean, it's like like the most taxing thing in the world to go over and bless some cargo or you know shine some coins or bless a traveling uh, uh, train, okay you know we've not... all seen your capabilities but have you ever really seen the return on a blessing on a load of cargo like uh, for example i mean my family did the rhythm i joined the church and trade seems to have gone better for the most part is so it you bad? Believe the return is given directly to your family? Not necessarily. I mean, return as well can be. I look how the kingdom, you know, the settlements are doing. For the most part, they're growing, aren't they? Do you, do you talk to your god? Uh, I mean, I send prayers. Does your god talk back? I wouldn't need them. They're very busy, but they're a very busy deity. Is he doing what if they don't talk That's back? Boring god. And do you talk it's to busy. your god, Kess? I'm seeing yes. which god. is cast religious. Yeah. Mm. What? what? I, I worship your three gods. Three? Oh. Fuck me. Polygamy. Which polytheism? Uh, mm. That's which the one. Which deities? If you don't polygamy. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have heard of them. I don't. Oh, I'd still be. Oh my you, god, she's you, a fucking hipster cleric. You you doubt my? Uh, you wouldn't have heard of my gods. <sighs> I, I worship Asgore before he was cool. Cass, <laughs> right. I I've been sent here. 
as well to find out about the religions of the natives as well. It's an interest of mine. And to find new them. religious. No, to find religious. There's new religions and new ways of doing things. Just because we're set in our ways doesn't mean they're the final ways to make breath. These people have a better connection to their gods, and they know a way of doing it, and it's oh. not harmful to others. Then sure, let's. There's always room for improvement. So I. I've nothing to hear about. I've, I've, I've worshipped two gods since I was born, essentially, um, raised by their priestesses. Um, but they're old gods that are very closely entwined with my people, so I don't think you'll have heard of them, but um, I, I worship Lara and Sehani. I'm going to assume DM, I haven't heard of these. No, these are unknown deities to you. I mean, um, how do they, what are they, are they just generic uh, deities of all? Do they have specific roles that they play within the pantheon? Are they, um, you know? I think Joaquin's the goddess of trade, who's one these like a harvest, or is they no. just a... No, not really. They kind of do a bit of everything. Well, um... Goals. Let me just check <laughs> if I've changed anything. Very oh, you're religious. checking that. Well, While you're checking I mean... that, do your gods talk to you? Do they talk back to you? Well, I was, I just talked to my, my newest god, um yesterday or the day before see her her gods talk to her yeah, they're not and, they're not too busy she came and sat with me while i was on watch one night that's a bit disturbing but <laughs> still why do you accept that your god doesn't talk to you what's what's the difference the uh, point of worshiping someone if you don't have any Real response why would, it. I, why would I need a response? Just the knowing that. How do you know that the. Like you said that your family's trade was doing better, but how do you know that would have happened I without don't. you? The. One finds it easier to not question such big uh, things. There are things beyond our understanding. We know. We have seen in the past, in histories of tales of heroes and tales of, even within generations recent, that gods and deities and likes, at least their blessings can be seen. Oh, absolutely. But It's that not... faith. Why would I need direct connection? I, I have power. Surely the powers that I have and can use are from this being, from how, this deity. How do you know? How do you know they're not just inherent to you? Because I didn't have them beforehand. Might be a late bloomer. Well, if I am, then it's not going to change my faith. I, Where I get my powers from doesn't change what I've grown up to believe in. Yes, I. I just. Uh, do I have questions? Yes. And would is, I? Is would I have the... loved to sit down and talk to Akeen about the weather and the trade routes? But why would you talk I, about the weather? I just because it's, it's to me just a conversation. Boring. To me, like I wouldn't. You can see the weather. Why would you? I, need to I, talk I wouldn't about let it someone. Here? I, I wouldn't take a job from someone that's that's never that I've never met. Like, if I got a letter in the post and it's someone that I've never even spoken to, why would I work for them? Why would I? Religion's a complicated thing. Who told you that you shouldn't question? Who? Did, no one told me. It was. Where did you learn that? Well, not to question after questioning for so long. And then you just. But it burdens stopped? the mind. Oh, snuff. Accept things as they are, and then question when needed. You know, it's... Right now, the question of the world of, is the person I'm praying to exist, or am I directly communicating to them, isn't important. What's important no. is that it happens. All questions are important. I, I fully believe that your deity exists. I just don't understand why they're leaving you on herd, as it were. You so not they, on red, they, you? I mean, they... They they aren't surprised it indirectly. They you know, when I have asked for help and made a call for help in general times or needed healing, they have come forward. When I've said prayers, when I have blessed you with sight, that is blessing them. That is directly those things. I don't feel anything myself. Power through it's through my holy symbols. It's 
Yes, there's maybe thousands of different explanations of what it could possibly be. But I don't need a connection. I don't need to talk to them. I don't need some divine strike for me to say, prove you are real here. My faith... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Fall>! <laughs> no. Elijah immediately yeah. dies and just explodes into a shower of yeah. gold coins. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, X. You just see it's like 500 XP. I'm no, you know, to pick him up. Yeah. You know, you don't. <laughs> Put it back I don't there. require those things. It's. No. It might be blind dodge, maybe naive of me, maybe. But. I don't think it's naive. I mean, I'm still... I keep the faith. Honestly, Eliza, I'm on your side. We've all seen the powers that you use through the power of Joaquin or the, the Golden Lady or whatever. And even the... the if, it's a, if it's a coincidence, Brooks, I mean, they're, they're remarkably thematic, all things considered. The, the gold color of the, no. the flames and the the dome of gold light that gives us all bolsters us with, with endurance. I mean, end of the um, day, when it comes down to it, if a being came forward one day and spouted that they were either a servant of Joaquin or Joaquin's transcended form on this, you know, natural plane. The opposite of transcendence. Well, you know, descended what I mean, form. Descended yeah. form of their plane then i'm not going to just immediately accept it i question i you know i mm. i wouldn't just blindly accept whatever being came along what if it was That's really wise. like like it was like an angel you know like blinding gold fucking oh tape. i like i wouldn't would Check i be more lenient to it yes but i wouldn't you know blindly start going down on my knees and groveling or you know answer my <laughs> prayers to be fully you know except is that just well it's just uh you know i i mean uh, uh, i just it's good to before, question before we faith. go on i feel like yeah. Lazar, in your experience is a god is that of most people i mean i don't yeah. hear too many people ranting about how they've just had a one-to-one -to -one conversation with Exactly. Aros or whosoever. I've never yeah, spoken yeah. to Melora or Sylvanas. I've never spoken to Lara or Sahini, but right. Um, what's the name of your third? I've what's the name the... of the third one? You said. Oh, she's. Well, you definitely won't have heard of her. She just recently ascended. Um, I mean, her, her well, she's on an independent level. Um, Elsa now. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, are you I mean... kidding me? You <laughs> 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 fucked, idiot. Well, Fuck I mean, I, if you have any of her teachings or ways she lives, still banging that bard. I would. <laughs> I would have another chance. Wait, I would. Oh, no, I, would no, no, no. I would happily want to learn about such a newly ascended gods into a pantheon. Mm. God, that'd be fantastic to learn, and especially Why if they have their mean? own. Okay, before before. Elasrin has a weepy eyed moment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not <laughs> a little Next. disturbed by the fact that you said that, that Elsa, whatever the fuck her name was, watched, stayed on watch with you, but I'm going to gloss over it before I have some sort of breakdown. Um, what do you, what do you, what do you do for fun? What do I do for fun? Um, travel. Find new things. Ask everyone any question that comes to mind. <laughs> oh, we've noticed that. <laughs> you don't have like anything that you enjoy doing. You just go with the floor. I like to sew. I like tailoring, making clothes. But I'm not very good at it yet. When you're great, you're welcome to make me a suit. <laughs> I don't know, a pair Unless of socks we all in winter might be quite good. Die horribly in some random snake temple. A nice blankie to cover your dead body with. Shroud. <laughs> <laughs> she can patch up my uh, my suit for the funeral. So I still want an open casket. 
How your face is bludgeoned in? He's just swollen from all snakes. There's just venom. no head. <laughs> <laughs> it's an open casting, but it's only the bottom half that's open. <laughs> They're just legs. Why can't we see the face? They're like, there is none. <laughs> Literally. Se separate box, just to the side. <laughs> There's just another little box next to it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's like one of those magicians things where they saw someone yeah. in half, but it's just these two separate you boxes. You could on do the stage. that because you could be like, look, as I saw the body in half. Yeah, and then ta da! Yeah. <laughs> so they were already oh shit, it didn't work. All right. And then the stunt double in the second box climbs out the back. <laughs> All right, uh, unless yeah. there's anything else you guys want to uh, talk about. To, uh... My existential crisis of godhood aside. <laughs> <laughs> Existential mm -hmm. crisis of godhood aside, uh, yes. you know, is that us all? Oh, before we go for the night, um, weird request. Don't question it, just be fun. Uh, can I borrow two crossbow bolts? Davian. You have to ask Jax. Oh shit, yeah, I will. You use a fucking bolt. Uh, bolts. Uh, even better, can I borrow... Two of your arrows be better than crossbow bolts. You know, pull out a couple arrows. I it, it just out of out of character for a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like look up the difference between like a broadhead longbow arrow. Oh no, I understand. And a crossbow bolt. I understand fully. I'm aware. Don't worry. You'll find. Suppose I don't need to buy more while I'm here anyway. So I will Two. put them in my archery competition quiver. <laughs> okay, finally, some use for it. What you find uh, use? Pick up the bottle of like fucking uh, stormy sky that I've got in there. It's <laughs> um, sweet vermouth. Oh. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess that's. Unless anyone wants to go on dancing, I think that's us for the night. We'll take it up on dancing. Oh, what dancing. type of dancing? Yeah, I don't think there's any music playing in here right now. <laughs> Oh, DM, there's... is there any music playing right now? No, there it's getting no. quite late. No, <laughs> no more. <laughs> Subtle. I think it's time to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, let's call it a night. Let's, go. let's all turn in. All right, when you all turn in for the night. Balls. Right, right. I want to talk to Elazarin before oh, Betty dies. Okay. 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 Uh -oh. Can I request that everyone deafens? Sure. Except, yeah? Okay. Yeah, of course. Bye. Oh, 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 Ooh. never done this before, Ooh. as far as I know. No. <sighs> Elijah, well, um, yes. So you, you mentioned that you have some vested interest in the gods of the, the, the natives. I mean, need to learn what's going on, can't inspire, you know, religious unity, that's why strive for even with in different religions we managed it with a pantheon there's always room but you mentioned that you you've never really had contact with joaquin i don't suppose you've Incorrect. ever had dreams none that have joaquin been or... i mean other than my other own than my... fabricated dreams i suppose you know nothing that felt like a message maybe or yeah would have had anything growing up at all of like a message anything like that or have been pretty so, not no, 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 no. not not in the not that gave you the sense of like oh this is a vision or anything. Oh like, yeah, yeah, or walking, making contact with nothing, yeah. nothing directly that I can remember. Maybe a vivid dream here and there, but I think that's more the active imagination of a teenager than a. Not more. long before we crossed paths. In fact, well, only a, probably a matter of months before we crossed paths. I was on a. A uh, mercenary expedition, I suppose, with a caravan that went, uh, well, it was east of here, but they went north to the foot of a volcano looking for, I don't know, anything of worth, really. And uh, we were, I suppose, attacked that night, and the, I, I suppose that it was, it was a, a native tribe attacked us, and pretty much I was the only one who made it out alive and the night that they attacked I had some vivid dream of I mean it was there was fire and there was a voice 
and obviously, you know, jungle fever and whatever else, you sort of cross it off as a, sort of inspired by some sort of ailment. But it seemed almost like a premonition. Uh, everything, well, the, 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 the fire and, and destruction in the dream was realized as the camp was attacked that same night. Everything was set ablaze and the people of the caravan were also set ablaze and only myself and my employer even made it more than 100 feet from the camp before he fell down dead. And ever since then, the same sort of dreams have been back and forth across my mind. And the same sort of calling and feeling of something that this, this intuition to go to this temple I've been almost overwhelmed. As you talk about this, Navian, Ooh, fuck. you notice that the candle that is lit in the room, the flame starts to burn a little brighter. You get a warm sensation kind of running down, down your spine. Not uncomfortably, but you notice these, these, these small details as you're telling Lazarin about your story and your dreams. So are you, are you fearful that it's a deity that has bad intentions or, or a being has bad I intentions? Don't, I don't know. They don't, the intentions, I, 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 I don't know if I can even discern. discern its intentions, just there's there's something, something there at for the you. temple. Well, and I, I, I don't know if maybe the first dream is a warning that I somehow didn't understand, and, and that's why I got away, maybe, because I was awake from the dream, and, and somehow I was chosen, I suppose, from those at the camp, but it's there's something just screaming. When Even even in a language I didn't understand when we saw the, that writing, I think, in Draconic... Mm. But the words on the page practically burned into the back of my mind, even though I couldn't read them. Something instilled in in my 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 brain that I, I don't even understand. But I I think some questions might be answered when we get there. And I think if well, if it truly is something that you have a vested interest in, may yeah maybe you'll be able to learn something. Maybe you'll be able to help. Yeah. I well, hope I can help in any way. But that is very interesting. God, don't have two whole new... Well, maybe not be new deities with you, who knows? But at least two new experiences of beings who are at least having that power. This is a very interesting day. For um, somebody who doesn't believe in destiny, it seems like destiny has plans for you. Well, believe it or not, the, w the word destiny has come up more than once. Huh. But, <laughs> I mean, that feels like... I don't know, that feels like... When you hear a Jesus. word all day, yeah, right. Like, oh, you, you. If someone tells you to go somewhere and then just yeah. tell, you, know, you go there, they'll, they'll just tell you they were right, you know. But yeah, very true. But anyway, shall... I'm a little hesitant to share fully. I'm glad that, don't... as things are so far, we've been brought to the temple. Maybe I don't, oh God, I don't blame you. Just... Talking about premonitions, or at least, um, well, visions of mm. things. If hard I to, hope to say I, about the whole, you know, I mean, I can only assume that being near a volcano, it's some sort of somehow related, of course. I mean, it's a volcano, but mm. I sincerely hope it isn't somehow tied to these dragon -y cultists and arsonists that have been running around. I, I, I hope it's just a coincidence. Would I know anything about any sort of deity or being that have anything to do with volcanoes or any sort of connection with dragons to that? Doesn't ring any sort of bells at all? Doesn't really ring a bell, no. Doesn't? Okay. I didn't think so, but it's always worth an ask. Mm -hmm. um, well, as I say, if you have any more experiences that you want to share in the future, do let us know and we can see what, maybe decipher these dreams of yours if you have trouble. I'm not exactly an expert in it, but uh, I have history. Oh, of, oh, you are more than I am. I have, I have 
knowledge of previous stories of the likes of you know the tellings and god knows how many religious texts of different heroes and villains and you know people caught in crossfires of these great events that these gods plan who knows where we where we all end up in it but i can at least maybe discern some meaning but for the most part i mean like i say i i don't have that type of experience and the fact I even know two people now who have had experiences with deities is I might have to bring it up with Kess, but I'm hesitant to do so. Anyway. I think she'd be late. more interested in what the deity is rather than your other warnings. Perhaps. Just seems like maybe if her experience is more adjacent to mine that she might have some advice to offer. But <laughs> Or something's not to do. As she would call it, advice, but you probably do the opposite sure. of what she says. Sure. Pre- precautions. Yes. But to her, right. it's advice. Sleep oh. well, Elasrin. Oh, I will. I'll dream of Joaquin tonight, and maybe she might, now I've talked about it, she might give me a vision. Perhaps. That'd yeah, be something. Sort of laughs and just goes to. And we go to sweep. Mm, Koiba, could you deafen for a sec? <laughs> oh, yeah. poggers! Here we go. As you uh, go to sleep, Davian, mm. you dream of a ziggurat. One much like the one you've seen a few days ago. Your mind kind of travels into the ziggurat. Through a network of tunnels. But you find the way. Somehow you know exactly what tunnels to take, what corridors to take. And you end up in a large chamber. In this chamber you see floating in the middle of the room a red gemstone. Almost in the shape of a tear. your destiny and as that voice kind of disappears you hear a loud roar but before you can discern what what created that sound you wake up and it is morning hi dad hey we're back hello we all still hello. alive yeah you all Yay. awake the next day? Oh, Feeling I, fresh as right. ever? I'm also going to ruin everyone because I have a thing I want to do, but it's super quick. Okay. Uh, I'm going to borrow some of Jax's tools. Yeah. And using my knowledge of Smith's tools, mm-hmm. uh, the two arrows that uh, Davian gave me, mm-hmm. I'm going to uh, take the pins out, try and remove the heads without breaking the shafts, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to try... And, uh, what's the word? Compress the metal where the barbed bolts would fit on a crossbow bolt and try and put them on an arrow shaft instead. So you're trying to, like, use the barbed crossbow bolts and put them on the Yeah, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take both of the, uh, both the, uh, arrowheads off the arrows and the barbed bolts off the broken crossbow bolts Mm -hmm. and try and put them on arrows. Make hmm, make a slight of hand check for the purposes of this. Do I? If I'm proficient in sleight of hand, but I'm proficient with smith tools, do I also get? This to is add not smithing. Proficiency? This is fletching. Okay. Okay. You don't smith arrows. Mm. Twenty-two. Sure. Okay. No, but you do smith the heads for them. Yeah, but okay, attaching the fair. heads to the arrow shaft is fletching, technically. Okay. Fair. Um. It comes with the craft of being a Fletcher, putting arrows together and making bows. Technically, sorry, but you're all 22, so you're fine. Um, that's not the best job, and a professional Fletcher would probably have done it better, but it seems to function. Yeah. Cool. You reckon it'll do what it needs to? What it needs to do? Well, when it comes back, I will give them to him because he was complaining he wanted different arrows. Hmm. Okay. So you all That's awaken all the next day. Uh, you all kind of gather downstairs, have your breakfast. Uh, some eggs, some sausages, some bacon, some tomatoes. 
and some bread. Anything anyone would like to do before you set off? And I'll repeat the question when Duke gets back. But I mean, it's good to juggle remedies, right? Yes, we definitely yeah. do. There's your shopping. I should um, store probably sell that. And I think. Um, oh, uh, Leave Jax, Davian wants to get some arrows. Jax also has some shopping that he wants me to do. Yes, that's absolutely fine. I mean, you and Jax can both go off, and we'll go to the general store. I mean, we'll set. just all go together, right? No, I mean, we're probably all going end up to the same stores, I think. So yes, might as well. Oh, um, Davian, now that you're down, mm. I've I don't know how well it'll work, but and I hand him two arrows with barbed heads on them. Yeah, so it's you notice head. the arrows you get back. Um, the arrowheads are replaced with the crossbow bolt tips, the barbed ones, the serrated ones. Uh, you reckon it'll work? It's not the best job in the world, but you reckon uh, you'll be able to use them. Um, what these do Ooh. is, uh, instead of just a minor detail, instead of piercing damage, these will deal slashing damage. Mm -hmm. um, and if you, uh, you could choose to lower, because I believe the damage die for a normal arrow is a d8, right? I mean, yeah, for the longbow. It depends yeah, on the yeah. bow. Yeah. For the longbow. You could choose to, uh, this is the decision that you can make, uh, to make that damage die a d6, but it'll apply bleed damage. For meaning how that, long? Uh, meaning that at the start of their next turn, they take half the damage dealt with the arrow shot. Oh. Again. At the start Including of their next the modifier? turn. Uh, yeah, just half the total damage dealt. Including... Okay. Ranger bonuses and shit. Fuck, man. I doubt it'll take the like hunter's mark damage, but the no, like just from the, the yeah. surely from the uh, the 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 the, bow sh the shooting of the bow. So one d six and bleed. Okay. Yeah, and it's just a bleed that lasts I'm just glad one, they one work. round. But like at the start one of round, the end of this turn, they just yeah. take some extra damage. They take half of whatever. Yeah, so I was thinking like one d four, but if it's if I do like. Six plus three, then they'll take five damage, or do we round down? Just we round down to be four. Oh, so you always round down in D and D. Yeah, it's about as good. It's about as good as another D four bleed damage. Okay. Do these are they are these nice? I can add to my inventory. Um, no, I mean custom custom item. This is just uh, something yeah, okay. that I uh, just uh, call them barbed arrows. So just write this. down what they do. The yeah, arrows are barbs. And then should we do a little bit of shopping? The shopping? All right. Uh, let's uh, not dilly dally for too long. Um, what is it you guys want to go shopping for? Uh, at least Lost a week's jungle worth remedy. Of jungle remedy. Jungle remedies. So that would take you to an alchemist. Uh, to last six of you, a week's worth. Mm hmm. Yeah, if they they only last twenty four hours each. Yeah. Hmm. Six Wait, times seven, forty two. Mm. Round up to fifty. That's uh, it's gonna be an expensive one. But, I mean, how do we even carry forty two bottles of jungle remedy? But, I mean, Serious. they're not very big bar would, bottles. I would out say there. you can carry like if you all carry like your own doses in your backpack or your. Whatever. Is it just like a vial per yeah, dose? It's just, yeah, it's a vial per dose. Okay, put them in my bandolier. Like, well, yeah. Okay. Um, but that would net you um, about 50 gold. Total? Five zero, yeah. Total. Yeah, like 10 gold each. 10 gold each, basically. Puts us over a little bit, but. Um, like well, eight six gold of you, each. But, yeah. it, it, it would be eight, and uh, two people would have to pay nine. So we just all put in nine gold each. That sounds fair. Yeah. And they'll see what yeah, and the then extra... there's four gold spare. I mean, that four gold spare would we'll we'll mark we'll it off Jax's sheet because I have that open anyway. Can we do that as DM? Them. That's cool. With the four gold. The four with... gold, we go another water skin for everyone. Oh, yeah, another, yeah. Basically, with like. Um, Nine gold, right? Yeah. Boom, remove that. We, yeah, we all, yeah. all donated nine gold. Okay. So if someone just wants to make sure that Laura remembers to remove nine gold for, I mean, I guess I could open her sheet and do four, but eh. All right, I'll DM her. Okay. Yeah, so you'll each have uh, seven 
vials of uh, jungle remedy. Okay. All right. Anything else? Uh, uh, the water skins. Do you want more. to buy some water skins? Yes, please. No, that would be the general store. Yeah. Uh, anything else you would like while you're there? Traveling supplies, that sort of thing. We have plenty of rations, right? Oh, rations. The, this is the general store. Yeah. yeah. We at least I have two weeks worth of rations. Yeah, me too. Yeah, um, Jax would like to look for and buy a three foot by ten foot roll ream of cheesecloth. That's oddly specific, but sure. I know, but this is what he asked me to buy him. Fair so. enough. Like cheesecloth is in like the fucking like. Uh, I think I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll say that that would cost him five gold pieces. Boom. There we go. Did we get water skins? Yes. Okay. How much the water skins cost us? Ah, they're, like a, they're like a silver each. They're not expensive. Okay. Anything else? Um, Did Davian want to go check out some arrows and stuff for the future? Yes. Or? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 Uh, you walk into um, a shop. Owned by uh, a, a seemingly a wood elf, based on uh, the the combination of skin tone and uh, hair color. So, and you see around you a, a bunch of arrows. Some magical, some just have a variety of different shapes of arrowheads. Um, anything in particular you're looking for, or is he a boyer as well, or do I will I have to go elsewhere for a bow? No, he that's uh, he does that as well. I doubt I can. I, I could buy a new bow, really, could I? Um, I'm just looking for... I mean, honestly... Mm -hmm. uh, it, like, I, I don't really know. Is there something that just, like, plus one? Or is there, like... Um, okay. I, I'll it's, I mean, it's some arrows that you see, and if you're, you're like, yeah. like oh, that's interesting. Uh -huh. There are uh, normal arrows. They're silvered arrows. Um, which you reckon is for you know to against lycanthropes and, and that sort of thing. Silver, um, hammerhead arrows, which uh, are a little more blunt uh, mm. arrowheads. Um, Bludgeoning damage, possibly non-lethal attacks. Exactly, uh, arrows with a corkscrew arrowhead, uh, which, Ooh. as a ranger, you know, is to. Uh, Say you want to shoot something that you can see in the water. As long as the arrow is fired from outside of the water, it doesn't get any like resistance from the from the water. Oh, so quite nifty. Uh, some oh. arrows with twenty foot twenty five foot of rope attached to it. <laughs> okay. Um, you see some arrows that have like an like an open cage almost with some flammable material, um, which if you ignite and then shoot it, it becomes a fire arrow. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Uh, after some explanation describing some of the other arrows, there are something called blinding arrows, which are arrows with a small clay head with an opening inside, uh, containing a, a reactive chemical. Um, when when on hit, it, it releases a bright flash, uh, which potentially blinds your target. Mm -hmm. um, smoking arrows, which it's pretty straightforward if you want to make a quick getaway. Smoke, smoke cloud and you're out. Oh, it's like a like a smoke cloud. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then we get into the the proper magical arrows, and that's also where the price goes up quite a lot. Um, yeah. Does are any of them cheaper than forty gold? The magical ones, no. Everything else that I've mentioned so far, yeah, yes. Okay. How much the fire arrows? Uh, a bundle of uh, ten fire arrows will cost you three gold pieces. Okay. How much are the blinding arrows? Uh, for a bundle of five, three gold pieces. And same for the smoking arrows bundle of five three gold yeah okay so that's nine gold for ten fire arrows five blinding arrows and five smoking arrows correct done deal yeah um the fire arrows just deal uh an extra 1d4 fire damage okay uh, on top of your normal damage uh blinding arrows uh uh, blind your targets, uh, like not even a roll, just blind them straight up for uh, for until the start of your next turn, and deals bludgeoning damage instead of the normal piercing okay. damage. I think it is. Smoking arrows. Um, the smoke lasts for ten rounds. 
unless removed by strong wind and deals bludgeoning damage right. instead of. Uh... So there you go. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it for me. Okie dokie. Oh, and I got two serrated arrows, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. There you go, lad. You got some some a variety of arrows to play with. Uh, it goes without saying, though. Non, not reusable. These ones. Uh, right. The clay, like the yeah. the the smoke arrow and the the blinding arrows. The the, the clay. Pots yeah, they break as soon break, as you hit. And that's yeah. when, and the fire arrows. I mean, they just fucking set you on fire, so they burn up. Like they're they're gonna be destroyed as well. I will return to Brooks once I've been to the Fletcher. Mm -hmm. Uh, if as, I mean, if you aren't using that competition quiver for anything but to hold gray goose or whatever uh <laughs> might be nice to separate the special arrows from the regular i mean if, you know if you're not using are it. you asking without breaking your pride too much if i will lend you the quiver you originally didn't want because uh, you yeah sure. not that I just, you well lost. i mean i just bought what 20 arrows 20 arrows that i need to keep separate from the rest and i don't have another quiver so i will give him the quiver oh just a pat on the shoulder there we go. Aww. It all worked out in the end, guys. Do you want my uh for my rest my wrestle arm patch as well or Sure <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll like hold his hold his shirt and just pin it there. And I will walk away proudly with my wrestle arm <laughs> patch and my nice. new clothes. Nice. Okay. Hello. Uh it was that all the shopping done. Are you guys ready to head on out? Yep. Yes. All right. As you arrive at the um, the stable, guards uh, look at you. Oh, are we not keeping them stabled here? I'm keeping them yeah. stabled here. Oh, you're keeping them stabled here? Walking. Yeah, we're going to foot. Oh, you're going to be walking. Okay. okay. Mm. All right. Don't want, to, don't want to take a cart into the jungle. Who knows? That's that fair. Way. That's fair. That's fair. Do we have here. another stop here? Or? No, I think no, it's just away now. Is, uh, no, we close. can't. We would have to. We have to go through jungle to the next one. Yeah. Okay. And we're going straight up from here. Mm. Interesting. Oh, exciting. Too straight, time. I hope. No, not. Try not to try to avoid the other temple. <laughs> Alright. Do sound similar. Um as you travel, a few hours and you uh, you reach the edge of the jungle. Uh, upon which I'm assuming you pop a jungle remedy, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Remedy up. And you go in. I bet it tastes great. Mm, it's, it's that it's that like it's that like licorice like bitter bitter licorice like flavor that mm. I described last time like cough syrup mm. pretty much yeah Ew. it's not I, there's worse oh, it's, there's definitely better but not good. <laughs> it's not like it's Flintstones gummy vitamins you know what I mean it's uh it's not not my chewy gummy bear <laughs> why the fuck haven't they made uh, uh jungle fever chewable <laughs> so you travel into the jungle. And about a few hours into your trip, you hear a faint voice call out to you. Shit. Oh, this is Kess's fucking <laughs> lackey Please coming to collect. Help me. That sounds like a. It sounds like a trap. Can I? Can you insight check a call? Yeah. I was say, can, can I, yeah, it's like can that's, that's what I'm thinking. Can I, can I discern the directions, like how far? But then also, can, does it sound like someone who is genuinely in pain and like very pain? Make an insight check, dude. Fuck it. Jack. Fuck off, yes, spooky yeah. back. Uh, twenty-five. You can tell from just the tone of voice that uh, the, the their breathing is. Labored. Not the way it should be. Um, typically seen with people with with injuries of some to some degree. Um, that's really like I... all you discern. Okay. Can I tell if it's like magic based? Or if it is no, this like seemed very voice. much just coming from a certain direction. Okay. It seems like there's some gentleman in trouble. To... Let's... I'll have a little look. We'll stay cautious and um, keep an eye out for any traps on the floor. Keep an eye out for anybody Maybe. around. Made drama. Lazarin, I, I think you're great and all, but maybe you shouldn't be the one having a look. Oh, yeah. I wasn't saying I'd go first. That's oh, okay. Well, I was just saying I should have assumed we should as much. Go for this. 
I mean, I I'll, I'll have to be near the front, but I'm not going to. T I'm, gonna, I'm just. I I to if you get oh, fucking funny one, brained in the head, I can't. I can't heal. So what you say, Bell? You're. I want to like stealth and go towards where the sound came from. Make a stealth check. And I join five, Cass. I'm going to join Cass, but five foot behind. <laughs> Yeah, sure. um, I'll join Casper okay. five foot in front. <laughs> wow. I'll join Casper okay, so right next to her, holding her hand five, as I cry. Five, 23, and then my d4 is... Uh, d4? Plus three, so what, it's 26. She's a cleric. She casts guidance on herself. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure she has stuff. mad fucking stealth bonuses. No, 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 no. She's totally a cleric. Okay. I got a 15 on my stealth. Okay. Y'all want stealth or? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, 18. 18. I nat 20 did it, so 20. uh, 25. Yeah. Nat 20, 15. What? Did you uh, <laughs> kind of like walk, sneak your way through some of the, the higher grass and then some of the vines? You see, leaning against a tree, a female you want tea with a bow, with a long bow in one hand, and just the corpse of a saber toothed jaguar. Kind of like collapse on top of her. Oh, she doesn't seem to see you. Okay. Can I look to see if there's any traps around the sort of outer brush, or if there's anyone else there as well? Make a perception check. Is she is she? She's being weighed down by a fucking oh, one. Yeah, but is she bleeding? One? Of the natural variety. Uh, <laughs> one of the natural variety. Uh, you, yeah. you don't see anything Ooh. else, really. Uh, is she <laughs> injured, you asked, uh, Davy? Mm. Yeah, how's um, she looking? She is definitely looking bloodied. Um, okay. I'm going to move away from the rest of the group so that I'm kind of like to one side before I call out. Um, Are you going to hurt us if we come and help you? And then I'm going to no? move back to the group. <laughs> do I look in a position where I'd be able to do that? Do I see any religious iconography? Do I believe her? Make an insight check, make a perception check, respectively. I don't win perception. No! You're also of the natural variety. Okay. One or 20? One. Nice. Mm. One extreme to the other. You see nothing. My inside is 17. Inside 17. I'm literally blind. Um, cutting through the sass, she seems genuinely kind of insulted at the idea okay. that you think she I'm gonna hurt you. I'm going to come out from where I was hiding. I think Cusco, I'll yeah. Don't be too oh, careful. And you, suit. Please, just get this thing off of me. I'm going to gesture the others forward. I'm not gonna oh! Help. Oh, your highness, you won't touch the large saber tooth. Well, I'm not going to be of any help. I mean, to be, to be <laughs> fair, <laughs> you think he is a point uh, of last one. To, to be fair, Davian, I was going to suggest maybe Brooks and you would yeah. get off. I'm not exactly. Um, I can well, hear Jax her. Is probably better than me for this sort of thing. But Jax is. He's old. <sighs> That's true. <laughs> Jax, it, in terms of strength, Jax is flat average. So if you're even slightly above average. A leg and a wing to yep. see the king. Okay. And I'll grab one. A two. I... <laughs> hey! And a three! I don't understand. And we just heave what this fucking. I, I don't get the reference either, but okay. Uh... It's where you grab someone's arm. Like one Wait. person grabs someone's arm and leg. Mm -hmm. as a, a leg and a like wing. When it's like a kid normally. Yeah. Right. So, so like the parents have a leg and a wing. Maybe this yeah, is a I UK thing. I think you know what you mean. Yeah. Like, you're like, I won. Yeah, and a two, yeah. and a three, yeah, and you yeah, throw yeah. them onto like something soft, like a trampoline like or some shit. Yeah, or a sofa. Oh, the sofa, yeah. like a tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a tree. Um, <laughs> the, nails. down the does stairs. Does the one, your auntie seem injured? She like, uh, is now that like you kind of removed the the saber toothed jaguar remains off of her. She's wearing this green leather armor, longbow still like on the ground next to her, quiver attached to her back. Uh, she's looking bloodied, yeah. She's got some cuts, and there's one, like, particular nasty wound kind of, like, near her neck, where it seems that one of the, uh, the, like, larger fangs of the saber-toothed jaguar has struck down and, and, and bitten her. And she kind of looking at you all. Don't suppose any of you have any 
healing capabilities. Oh, don't worry. Stabs. Just stay still for a second. This will only hurt a little bit. And this will I'll... only hurt a lot. Uh, I know. Let's cast have sure bones knit just... back together. I'll, I'll put my hand kind of just on the on the wound, uh, and I heal her for uh, nine points. Oh, okay. You see the wound kind of starts closing up a bit, and she looks at you. Do you Thank have a name? you. Um, thought I was gone for, but thank you. Um, don't mind me asking. Why are you here? A death well, wish. No, just sec, though. So probably yes. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Why would you be going there? Why the fuck would you tell her that? What's, what's your wrong with you? what's your name? Sirin. I'm very tired. Sorry, I'm very tired. Sorry. Uh, we're not on our way to Sekdar. We are lost, actually. <laughs> right. We're lost in our <laughs> Why? Why are you? But in if we world? were to be going to Sekdar, we would be going to make an arrest. Ask Why me. are we going? <laughs> Personally, not that we are. To go. Oh, we have. So we do have a going? death wish. You could say, why, what do you know of what's going on there? Have <laughs> you heard anything? Well, all I know is there's a gathering. Tribes of my people wanting to purge the lands of the outsiders. That's what we heard. And I'm going to assume you're not one of... No. I hail from Sethka. We actually developed a good relationship with the people of New Daramuth. So Sethka and is relatively safe. I I don't have the information you you seek, but perhaps if you accompany me back to my town, our leader may have some answers? I mean, that sounds like a... That sounds like a wiser trip. idea than strutting into Sekthar unprepared and Well, unwary. and also these jungles, right? You can assume you know your way pretty well around these parts. You can... Yes. I, uh, I'm a hunter. More Normally more successful. He but did pretty well, I think. I did, I did, I did win, just... I probably... Would have died too if you were just a few hours later, but you weren't, and I'm very grateful. Um, if you, I understand that perhaps it's, um, well, if you're supposedly you know not going, but say hypothetically you were going to mm. Sekta, I, I, I am sure you don't have to trust me, but. If you want, then bring it to my leader, and he'll be able to help you as a reward for saving one of his hunters. I'm, I mean, we have, no distrust, we have no reason to distrust. We have no reason to distrust you. That's, I'm more yeah, than I happy. Yeah, I mean, you to. seem far more uh, cordial than the ones we've the, been dealing with. The, the sect are types. I'll mm -hmm. tell you that much. We've had dealings with priests of Seth and the like. Hence you have to spit on me. Hence our initial yeah. We understand. used to worship Seth. Hence, you know, me residing at the temple of Sethka. But when these outsiders, your people, came, we wondered if there's things we could learn from them and we did they showed us the bigger picture sometimes some outside influence a fresh set of eyes it's good it's a I shame suppose. not all of the yuanti tribes of this land agree well learning that there's more to the world than the 
and the side of a jungle canopy and whatever gods you worship can be very enlightening and for others it can be very terrifying so mm. I suppose it's understandable that it, there's some sort of schism but yes when the tribes heard of our acceptance and our cooperation with these outsiders we got shunned obviously We don't really mind. I'm not really in the mood to purge the lands off of anything not yuan T or native, so... Yeah, when you look at it this way, I mean, cooperating with the settlers, as it were, means you can trade with most of the known world. Known to us, that is. Hmm? We... Isolating yourselves from them or rejecting them only closes your options. So. Yes, we have a, a good relationship with the people of New Daramuth in particular. Whenever they need guides through the jungle to try and chart more of it, uh, they come to us, pay us to accompany them, protect them, lead them through the jungle, through places that won't get them killed. Whether it's by wildlife, plants, whatever else it may be. Yeah. Sounds, sounds like my job, but I'm sure you're a little more well-versed in this environment than I ever would be. Mm. Um, I, I think knowledge is power. I think that if you can offer us any help, perhaps, dealing with Sekthar, then we'd be wise to go with you and see what we can learn. Nuxa is a wise man. He uh, will have some answers for you. He used to um, he used to live there, so he will have better. a lot of answers. In that case, I suppose, if you're feeling well enough, you lead the way and we'll follow behind. Your friend patched me up enough, I should be, should be able to, to guide you back and, well, through a path that houses less saber-toothed jaguars, hopefully. Mm. It sounds you you hunt these for for hide or do they just taste good? Hmm. Well, I hunt for for food and 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 whatnot for my village. But I was chasing some game, and then these and this this jaguar, I suppose I suppose had the same idea, but then saw me and decided I was a tastier looking snack. Did it? Did it now? Is she a tasty-looking snack? She looks very humanoid. She's a wanty, but um, a you big booba something. snake lady. She uh, looks young. The, the snake. She... Her only real snake-like features are the the eyes and the forked <laughs> tongue. There's no real like badge of skills Ooh. or anything. Um, I mean, she's not Can't ugly. Say I disagree with the saber tooth. She kind of looks at yeah, you and shakes it. <clears throat> I apologize for my companions here. Why? <laughs> I just in for future reference. Just in case we maybe, do. Maybe it's not a common. Just because we do or say anything stupid. Maybe it's not a common expression here. Do like? Do we need to explain it or? No, I think the less that's spoken about it, we, the better. Shall we get She kind of like looks at Davian and kind of eyes him up and down, and just like there's like a shoulder shrug, and then. Wow. Shall we proceed? After you. I thought you'd never ask. And she uh, guides you through the jungle, and you, you she definitely knows her way, and and you kind of. Definitely, definitely the easiest path through a jungle that you've experienced so far. Just getting guided through several patches of, of little less high grass, a little less damp, uh, some vines that were already cut uh, because she traveled down this way. Yeah, she's much better at this than you, Davy. And the, the day goes by <laughs> pretty quickly, and the towards the end of the afternoon, uh, you find yourselves... Um, in a in a in an opening, a clearing in the jungle. We stand before a decision: travel through the night and reach 
Sethka in the morning, or make camp and continue travel tomorrow. How dangerous is the jungle after nightfall? Hmm. Any more than in the daytime? Not really. What would you do if you were traveling on your own? Given our time constraints, I would say we travel through the night. I would travel on my own. Probably find a tree to climb up high and get a few hours of shut eye. How do you feel about traveling through the night? I mean, she gave us a choice, so... It's up to you. I meant more in a sense of, like, is it more likely to get us fucking killed? Equally as likely, but... I'm still quite tired from my earlier altercation with... I'll happily uh, carry you, but I think no, it'd be best you. to keep moving. With, well, with seven of us here, progress okay. is only slower, but that... There's some sort of time constraint. We don't know what the ritual that's happening at Sekthar will... Most create. understandable. I mean, I'm more than happy to go throughout the night. I prefer traveling at night time, personally. There is a, that is a good question, actually. Um, obviously, we travel faster with Davian, so... As someone that knows the jungle, but how long does it take you to go from... Well, from, from about here, or from Sethka to somewhere like Sekhtar? That, that in mind, we probably slow her down a lot. Yeah. From Sethgar to Sekhtar, it's about two days. You know your way? Two fucking days. Mm -hmm. You know your way. This map is I huge. I your way, it's getting much longer. That we don't. But from here, I say, no, I, I say it's worth doing it, get there. I we'll be exhausted. Can't, but... We'll be exhausted, but if we travel through the night, we know that we have somewhere safe to rest and hopefully dry and we can rest up comfortably there at the very least okay well it doesn't really doesn't really affect our overall everything goes time well span. We'll, be, just... we'll be at seth car by sunrise i think yeah it just just changes when we rest we still have to rest at some point so time scale is the same so we might as well just go. Mm. Okay. I just think I'd rather rest within the walls or the ziggurat yeah. of the sa yeah. safety than in the middle Absolutely. of the jungle. So, perfect. Let's march uh, on. Let me when we get to the, when we get to the darkest point of the evening, let me know. Mm. So I can help us for a little bit. Okay. Is it like, is it like Avatar where there's like a bunch of weird bioluminescent shit in the nighttime, so it's not even that dark? Uh, not really. <laughs> no, lame. It's pretty, pretty dark. Every year, you take a step and like all of these weird veins of like fungus go like, <laughs> and they all glow. You have to no. fuck the tree to be accepted there, there, by the yeah, native people. There are some creatures like lo like glowflies and stuff like that that you see that kind of. Yeah. Uh, Gotta wait till the underdark until it gets that magical. But um, the really? this jungle is fairly mundane, uh, plant like vegetation wise. Yeah. But okay, so you keep traveling. Um, every once in a while, Siren will kind of hold you guys back and, and, and ducks down and just kind of like at you as some like big creature of whatever description, like from anything from six legged crocodiles to more of these like jaguar type creatures kind of prowl around and eventually buck off to a different place and then it's safe for you all to continue again. Uh, and you all arrive the morning of the 21st of Yumes. Tired. But it is morning, the sun is rising, and you arrive in a small uh, settlement. Um, in the center of the settlement, this big ziggurat, kind of s similar to what you've seen before, surrounded by these circular stone and wooden huts. Well, welcome home. Welcome to Sethka. Thank you. I am exhausted, but I shall take you to Nuxa. And then I suggest you get some rest before you continue. Yes, this sounds like a bloody good idea. Mm. And uh, she guides you to the ziggurat and enters, and in like the main chamber, um, 
this Yuan-Ti priest um, with with a, the lower body is a, is a snake body, but upper body still humanoid with a normal like humanoid head, uh, wielding a scepter, uh, a wooden scepter with a snake head adorned on top of it, and uh, is wearing these these green robes, color wise similar to the green leather that uh, Sirin uh, is wearing. She immediately drops to one knee, and uh, Nuxa, I bring travelers and guests. They helped me out a predicament and in exchange request some information. Nuxa kind of motions for her to rise, looks at you all and kind of like slithers his, his lower body, like kind of like back and forth, inspecting you all. Is that so? Uh, I give a little like bow. Yeah, I also give a little bow. Yeah. I'll... There's no need. Good, because I stayed standing. We don't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, We don't do that here. <laughs> that is the truth. Um, she was found. We found her calling for help and saved her. Did he look sad to Sirin? Very grateful that you helped out one of my hunters. What is it you need? What do you know about Sekthar and if what's going on there at the moment? If anything. A lot. Anything in particular you'd like to know or just the whole shebang? I can't look at the group. I mean, suppose the whole shebang, but if it comes down to it, if you know anything of what they might be planning, I know that's a shot in the dark and well, if you know any, any hearings. I used anything. to be... A priest there, so I caught the initial forming of plans before we got shunned for disagreeing with their plot to rid the land of outsiders. You're looking for a man named Rick Sal, High Priest of Seth. He's the one that united the tribes. He's the one in charge of this plot. There's a meeting of several Yuan-Ti tribes, so expect a lot of resistance. Last I heard, they were expecting a guest, but supposed to give them the edge in the, their plan to wage war upon the colonists. This, this sort of the reason we want to know we're after that person he's wanted for at least questioning towards crimes within Eldor hmm. although he'll probably just get executed the, uh, yeah. I mean yeah um, I feel like he's going to be wanted for a bit more than that now yes, the thing but... you should know is they plan to use a creature a monster for their attacks they house it deep within the ziggurat behind a labyrinth of tunnels. Davian, this rings a bell to you. Mm. So if you do plan on arresting this individual, expect a lot of resistance. But with that said, Rixal is the man in charge. Cut him down. Mm. The rest will scatter. Wow. Then the only threat remains is the monster. I heard that Sekthar houses some sort of ancient treasure. It does. Some sort of uh, a gemstone or something. You heard right. Where have you heard that? Not many people know of that, let alone outsiders. I think someone who managed to escape the captivity must have started spreading it around, well, Eldalon, I suppose. Overheard it in a tavern. They 
seem like a lunatic, but apparently there's some truth to it. That gem you're just you're describing would be Posuth's tear. Why is this of such interest to you? Well, I mean, if we're going, we might as well try and come back with something valuable. Valuable it is, but... Is it important religiously to them? Or is mm. it just a treasure? Kosuth is not a deity, perhaps, but an ancient, powerful primordial, which, as far as power... Equivalent to that of a god, but not technically a deity. Has worshippers all the same, but he's more of an yes, elemental lord. Not integral to their beings, so I'm, I'm not desecrating a temple. Down here, not so much. Further up north, right, near the volcano, that's where he has a little more say that gemstone is originally from there but over the years managed to find its way down here I can't tell you how it got here but it did and I kind of look at Davian but just like just a quick glance over and then mm. look back well then I mean all this information is, is very helpful thank you do you know a uh, it's hard to say, obviously, it's a jungle and everything changes there, but is there stuff we should look out for on the way to there that is extra dangerous? Mm. I know we could be all wits about us anyway, but is there stuff we should everything be keeping is dangerous. in our And any way to get in as well? How about Sirin? And she kind of looks at you all. I would like you to accompany these people to Sekhtar. Aid them any way you can. Make sure they get out alive. And Siren kind of looks at you all. Um, is that okay with you? I mean, you got us to hear. I mean, yeah. it's only if you want to do it. I mean, we'll take all the help we can get. And obviously don't risk yourself too much for the sake of us. I We've wandered into you more than. Feel like you have the a, a wrong impression of me. That if that jaguar wouldn't have gotten the jump on me, I would have. I can handle myself. Plus, I know the jungle. I know it's more. That if what is said is true, and we've got a battle in our hands, I wouldn't want to drag someone who wasn't really involved in it. Looks like kind of looks at you and says, fight. "At the end of the day, they shunned us." Fair. What? Who's to tell? Maybe they plan on visiting our settlement as well before they wage war upon the colonists. We don't agree with them. We work with your people. Maybe if anything, any of your people will probably to want to get rid of us as well. So, yes, the thing as well has it been a. Uh, have some of your people found to go over this and been drawn to, or are you collectively? All on the same page. Some of no them, outliers. but the majority, okay. luckily, trusted my judgment. Um, but we wouldn't stand a chance if the collective of tribes up there decided to wage war on us. We'll try our so, best. me sending Sirin with you, it's not completely in your own interest, it's also a little bit of mine. If that's okay with you, then, then I'm more than happy to accept any help. Um, Steering is the best huntress we have. I'm sure what? she'll be quite useful. What is the deal with the monster? Do you know anything of the monster that they might be summoning? I assume it's a giant snake or something very mm. dramatic. Not technically. Oh. Any of you ever heard of the Hydra? Yeah. Have any of us heard of the Hydra? Have we heard of a hydra? Yeah. Have you... Um. Sure. Davian, definitely. Um, Kess. The okay, Davian, definitely. The rest of you make a nature check. Nature. Yeah. 
<laughs> no. Add 19. 19. Seven. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's plus nothing, so 18. Alright, alright, alright. So pretty much uh, everybody besides <laughs> Brooks knows that a Hydra is a reptilian horror uh, with a crocodilian uh, body, multiple heads on long serpentine necks. Uh, you also know that the heads can be severed, but they grow back. What the fuck is a hydra? Awful <sighs> is what it is. Um, a monstrosity that can grow its heads back when you, as you chop them off. Is, it, doesn't it grow back two it's, heads when you cut one? It is rumored like that. that as you cut one head off, two grow back. I've, uh, You've got to burn well, it or something. Just yeah. cut the body off instead. Because peep, because it's got a long neck and it's an easier place to hit. Is the neck and people are, people cut tend to not body. know what a hydra is until it's too late. Cut the body off. I mean, cut the body off. What exactly? The head? I mean, cut the body up. You stab the the body. You stab the chests and the likes. We could just. Leave it. Leave it? It is, if left uncontrolled, could create a lot more havoc than is... And someone with more of a death wish than us will get hired to go and kill it. Well, if it's money you're after... Oh, God. Hydra blood is quite valuable. Sought after. Sought after, especially by the religious types that believe that Hydras were created when Tiamat slew a rival dragon god, cast her blood across the known multiverse, and each drop that fell upon the ground created this multi-headed Hydra. Hmm. Or so goes the story. No story has probably happened, one way or another. Well, that aside, it's a lot on our plate. We have a lot to do. Mainly, first one, sorry to be rude about it, but you don't have got anywhere to sleep, do you? Yeah, we definitely need to rest. We've uh, um, stretched through all night. We've got bedding and a level below. Want that to would be use that to rest up. Wonderful. Sirin looks like she could use some rest as well before traveling, mm. so. Yeah, feel free to use the kind of below. Yeah, that's the kind of starts just staggering, but like, I don't know about you guys, but I am <laughs> exhausted. And I'm just gonna, and that's a walk, kind of walk off and just go, go to sleep. He's, he's, he's fucking done. He's, he's knackered. He's <laughs> fucking knackered, me. He's, right. he's not the type to stay up too, too late. And he, with that, he goes. Uh, we'll say that um, you go get some rest, get your sleep, and um, I guess we'll end it here and we'll pick this up next week. Oh, oh. It's a cat Hydra. Mm. It's a cat Any Hydras? Hail Hydra? The Hail Hydra. He 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 he. Oh, a fuck. Hydrant. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for playing. Hope you all enjoyed. Oh, fuck. Oh. Fucking Hydra. Fuck yeah, oh. Hydra, baby. I mean, what is a, Yo, a, did a, we level a up? More like fitting nope. boss fights for the story arc than a fucking Hydra, dude. You're right. I thought it was You're pretty right. fitting. It is. Did we level up? Nope. Maybe after you beat the Hydra, though. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, we'll just kill a Hydra at level two. Be fine. <laughs> Has my combat ever been completely out of balance, Ethan? No. Exactly. Right. You did. To be fair, the, the can't party cut fought, off a Hydra's the, head. The, the, the party if you punch fought it. mind flayers early levels in the last campaign, and they were just yeah, like, they were, survived. Yeah, it it's just, just going to be like a Hydra that they haven't quite done summoning or something. So it's going to be like a, a baby, baby Hydra. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like a false Hydra, and we're all going to cry. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. <laughs> thanks so much. Lord, but we'll forget that we were all raid. alive. So that doesn't Sweet, matter. Thanks for the raid, Dark Horse. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. We hit uh, well past a thousand channel views today, guys. Pog. Hey. Hey. Easy. Easy. And we're Easy. itching closer to 200 followers, which is awesome. So if you're new around here and haven't oh, yet, yeah. hit the follow button. We would greatly appreciate it. Uh, and we got some lore dumps this session. Mm. Yeah. Big lore dumps. Got some yeah. fucking great session. Jeez. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Okay. And with that, uh, we should Arch be live chance, tomorrow with baby. Baldur's Gate 3. Take care.
Hope you guys had a good weekend and uh, catch you next Sunday for session six. See you later. And hopefully, I think Soko won't be here next week, but Laura will be. So, almost complete cast. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.